So, okay, chat, what do we think about our composition for the wheel? Are we going with the, the are we going into the wheel? And if so, with who? The thing is, Puck of Pook's Hill, while clumsy and fragile, can use like all of his abilities from the back row. It's whiskey and chocolate. This might actually work okay. Oh, thanks, Sumo. Yeah, I'm still happy to go mod list for maybe the first run here just to get a good baseline experience, but I know that the modding community for this is insane. Like, insanely good. Such, so much that when, when people find out this is a vanilla run, they're like, but why? But why? If you get picked to the face on the Grave Robber, you can equip that instead of her Dark Light. Well, that's true. We'd have to put her um, up front. Was that Troya? We'd have to put her closer up. The problem is we don't have someone other than, uh, right now, Puck, Puck. We don't have anyone who can sit in position four, right? The pick to the face we know is super good because um, Juna was like just going to town with it um, and and the flashing dagger. Uh, who, did, who did I keep? Oh yeah, Troya. Um, it's amazing that both of our grape robbers are sick good right now. It's whiskey um, but yeah, the problem is I need I need backline fighter stuff. I think we might go with this. So Shonix can use everything from the front except for breakthrough. Which we could consider swapping, but the nice thing is it does give um, Shonix a way to move forward again in case they get knocked back. Looks like there's some new ones here. I'm gonna double check the contribution of the whiskey and chocolate fun, because I'm you know to find out what's new and what's not, because um, Twitch being a little confusing. So breakthrough can't be used from the front, but it's meant to get you back in the front, which is kind of nice. I think I'm kind of happy with Shonix's skills. They're all brought to level two as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, Burkle Blade, the Abomination. I have no idea how an Abomination works. We're going to have to find out. Um, and you are, as I say, you're level zero, so we can't upgrade any of your skills anyway. And Roadster Tracker, I think I'm okay with what you're packing. Um, we, is there a situation we might not change? We, maybe we should drop Hand of Light, because ideally Roadster shouldn't be in the front row. If we drop Hand of Light, we could pick up um, maybe Dazzling Light for the stun. Yeah, I think that's what's going to have to happen. Okay, let's do that now while I'm thinking about it, because I think that's going to be a good thing to have unlocked anyway. Uh, Roadster Tracker. We're going to unlock Dazzling Light. Boom. And uh, yeah, you're, you're level zero, so I can't I can't bring your skills up, unfortunately, to any higher level, but it's going to be an okay start. And then here, yeah, I'm going to drop Hand of Light. I'm going to give you Dazzling Light. And now your sweet spot is position three, which is where you are. That's wonderful. As for the Houndmaster, I still don't know, like, how the hell any of this like works for this class because a lot of this is still new to me um you can self-heal guard dog you've got bleeds which is good because these guys aren't very bleed resistant you do a lot of bonus damage against mark now right now um we might want to get target whistle and replace maybe maybe just replace like guard dog Oh, guard's ally. Oh, so this... Okay, yeah, we'll get rid of this because... So this would guard another ally. Would improve Puck's dodge, but Puck's dodge is kind of crappy and the hit points are crappy, so I don't think guard dog is in the future. I think we grab the target whistle so we have an option of marking for maybe a big fight. I, th I think that's good. So let's do that. Uh, guild, Puck... We could give you level 2 skills as well. Which... It's so cheap to get the level 2, we may as well, right? I don't think there's any reason not to. I don't know if I had an Arbalist or Musketeer. Yeah, um, so we don't have a lot of people to take advantage of Mark, other than Puck himself, I think. But I think it's still going to be kind of handy. We'll drop that, we'll pick that up. Okay, the last thing we have to do is we do have to sign our trinkets here. So I think I've already unassigned everything, yeah. Um, we've got a couple of whistles for the Houndmaster. Um, scouting, if the torch is low. Improved torch disarm is nice. Um, the agility whistle, I, you know, it sort of sucks to lose some debuff resistance. But the speed, and I think the bonus dodge, I think is worthwhile over here. Um, move skill chance. Hmm... I might actually be okay with doing this, because your speed's still going to be high. It's going to give you so much more dodge to compensate for your minus 10% HP. I think I like this. 
Hell, with this much dodge, we actually could almost consider putting the uh, the guard um, ability back on here. Um, let me hold on to you. Frontliner, with a slow speed, I think I'd like to bring your speed up a little bit more. Uh, no one's got, like, zero dodge. Oh, no, that's not true. The Vestal has zero dodge. So we may as well put the debuff amulet on you, so that... I, I mean, you, I don't think she does any debuffing, but her resisting debuffs might be kind of handy. Move skill chance. I don't think anyone really needs this. In fact, I think I'm going to sell the move stone. This just makes it easier. If you have a move that moves other people around, then this makes it more successful. But that's not a big deal, and the minus one speed sucks. So I'm just going to sell that trinket. Done. Highwayman, Grave Robber, Houndmaster. I mean, I could give the Houndmaster both whistles. It's whiskey and chocolate. It would make you really good at disarming traps, and we actually don't have a trap disarmer. Maybe we'll do that. Your dodge is a little low. It's whiskey and chocolate. But you know what? How do we do this? So she'll break even on her speed, sort of. But then get a lot more dodge. And she's in the front, so very likely to get hit by things. I think that sounds right. Alright, we are going to... We're going to make our purchases, and then we're going to check on the whiskey and chocolate fund. Because I think a lot of actual new stuff has come in. So we are going to start with Firewood. It's the first time doing a run where it's medium length, so we have the ability to camp one time. When you camp, you can use a bunch of camp-style abilities to heal, reduce stress, give yourself buffs and things like that. It's really nice, but it does mean it's going to be a much longer run. Uh, we're going to want quite a bit of food. We might go with more than that. I don't know. 12 is like the recommended food for a medium. Um, I think adding 50% above that is a good idea. I'm going to go like two stacks of torches. We can throw them away if needed. I mean, oh, we'll waste money, but, but not even that much money. And probably we'll actually put them to good use. A couple of shovels, an anti-venom, a bandage, an herb, a key, a holy water. One laudanum in case we get horrid. We may have to toss some stuff, but, you know, better to have a thing and not need it than to need a thing and not have it. Hashtag Samwise Gamgee. Uh, Factorio, uh, the, um, oh, is there, is there a test build for version 18 on Factorio? No, just the, uh, the mainline Factorio, no experimental. We have 12, oh yeah, I'm in front of the gold. We have 12,000 gold, uh, after everything. We started with 19,000 at the start of the stream. Might be better to be there. The heirlooms matter less than the gold, I suppose. Oh, if you hold shift, you buy a full stack. Well, that is handy. Cut laudanum, add a second anti-venom. Actually, well, you're right, because there's a lot of... There's blights and poisons going on in here. Um, laudanum... Yeah, if, I guess if we're, not, if we're not getting hit by horror as an ability here then maybe we just drop that. I don't have a hat for this game, no. All right, I'm pleased with this. You guys take a second to think about it um, and, and provide recommendations and tweaks in the chat. I'm gonna double check the whiskey and chocolate fun because there's, yeah, definitely some new things that have come in um, with all the, the weird latency stuff. Um, yeah, we have Irish Gaelic come in. Oh my gosh, it's a big one. Thank you very much, Irish Gaelic. Thanks for another quality stream. Would you ever play Satisfactory? Did we? do a one tiny little stream for it at some point and I always I do want to go back to it so yes but I don't know when and wait is the latest version 18 no 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 no. yeah so that would be the experimental version because I just tried to log in I just downloaded the latest headless version of Factorio and I am on the standard uh version of of Factorio I didn't even know they had an 18 that they're uh releasing for experimental yeah so yeah we're on the latest non-experimental version of Factorio um, Banana Cabana! How many more gift subs do you need before we start culture bombing other Twitch channels? <laughs> it's like open up some other stream one day and it's like been replaced. You're like, what is happening? I don't get it. Um, Archaeologist! Oh, there's been, oh, my Sims campaign as the Netherlands, there are some beautiful culture bombs that are going to happen at some point in that run. Some of the most satisfying culture bombs I think I've ever done in Civ. Oh, very excited. It's going to be a good series. Uh, Archaeologist, thank you very much for that. Hey, Quill, long time lurker on the tubs, but the Paradox time zone makes it hard to catch a stream. Here's me replaying you for years of entertainment. Well, thank you very much, Paradox time zone. I guess that's a, a European Central time. 
Thank you very much for that, archaeologist. That's very generous and appreciate being here. Name Moose as well. Hey, this donation came in 45 minutes ago and you're only getting the notification now. This lag's unbelievable. It's very meta. Juna, has anyone really been far even as decided to use, even go want to do more like? I could not have said it better or worse. Juno, thank you very much for that. Zero Bite! Finally, I can contribute beyond just Prime. Thanks for being freaking awesome, dude. Cheers to another five plus years of great Saturdays. Thank you very much, Zero. And let me double check. Camp skills want a no nighttime ambush skill. That would be nice. We, did, we haven't unlocked the um, um, survivalist, so we don't get to tweak our, our nighttime skills. And right now, we're just mostly going to have to focus on our, uh, on our primary stuff. One more key? Sure. Grab a second key. All right, I'm going to embark. Done. More herbs equals more food. Oh, because we might be able to capture more food. Okay, done. I'm not buying anymore. Fini. <laughs> My lord, to the wheel, the warens we go. Just let me fight any standing foe. You make me think of... Um, Etrogen? DC Comics, the demon who rhymes all the time, who like shares a body with what's his face, right? I'm getting that right, yes? I think so. He's, he's awesome, great character. <laughs> I knew all these paths once. Now they are as twisted as my own ambitions. Why is the narrator in this game so good? Mm, fantastic. All right, so our goal is to explore 90% of all rooms. This is a big run, we've got a lot. I don't know the math on this, so I don't. I think the starting room counts as a room. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Now I think it rounds down for the requirement. Since there's more than ten, does that mean I could ignore two rooms? Puffy nipples. Hmm. <clears throat> Puffy nipples says I can skip two rooms. So what I think I'd like to do is not do these two behind us. So if we're fairly confident. 12 rooms needed, yeah, uh-huh. I, okay, I think if we're fairly confident about it, we can skip these two. It just suck to have to backtrack this whole way. But yeah. Um, I mean, on, on short, you can skip one, uh, chomps. But I think here we can skip two. It would suck to be wrong. Should we do one safety room? And just do one in case. I think, I think we're gonna have to. Just, just to be sure, because it would be tragically bad. That sucked that we we're starting with a little bit of stress. I think um, uh, Burko, yeah, is level zero resolve, so he's starting the the dungeon with the uh, with the twenty stress. Uh, this was just leftover. Oh no, never mind. Roadster Tracker is level one, so that's twenty. This is some leftover here. All right, we got a, a pouch here, which I think, as far as I know, these bags are always fine. They just don't, they're not always rewarding. Ah! Oh! Mechanical hazards, possessed by evil intent. Stupid game. Yeah, 90% of all rooms is to 12.6, rounded down to 12. Yeah, and I think it does do the round down. All right, well, there wasn't an extra fight here. We get, we got a trap we didn't need. Oh, we got a scouting boost now. Uh, I mean, we could go to this battle room. There's a treasure, but I don't think it's worth it. Is this a curio? Okay, we're going to do the thing where we start the next hallway, we pop the curio, and then back up. That's not a... Oh, it's... Not an exciting curio, but I guess a box counts. Yeah, some heirlooms is not too bad. With loot. So we'll back up, which Our can generate stress. Supplies. And then we'll move forward to this room. We've already cleared this hallway and gotten a scout off for the next one. There's treasure. Yes, that's true, but... I think we do have to preserve ourselves a tiny bit. So it's gonna be fight, curio, and then battle room with a curio. Since we know there's gonna be a fight, we do wanna make sure to up the light to increase the chance that we get surprise against the monsters. Anything else we wanna do first? I don't think so. All right, we got a bunch of horrible looking dogs. Rabid Nashers. I bet you they inflict some diseases. All right, so here's our Hound Master. We could do a Hound's Harry to hit everything, um, which, right, 120% chance to bleed. So they have a 20% bleed resistance, so we'd have a 100% chance to bleed them. Now, I think it only bleeds for, yeah, one point a round, which isn't that meaningful? 
This is bonus damage against a beast, which they certainly are. I'm trying to like do the math of all the attacking. What's gonna work out best? It's gonna hit for one to two plus one point of bleed. So this will do something like somewhere six to nine total damage fairly efficiently. Might bring something into kill range. Ah, let's do it. Yeah, we rolled minimum on the damage, but they did all get the bleed again, 100%. Um, all right. So there's the transform. So the abomination can go between human form and some sort of horrible beast form, although it does stress out all the heroes. It does self-heal, which is interesting, and increased damage. I think we'll wait... I don't know, I've never used an Abomination, I have no idea what to think. Um, this has got the Blight damage, right, which again, they have the huge resistance to it. Manacles does not do much damage. Maybe we do have the Shapeshift, although we're not going to do anything here. Does it Does it maintain between combat? If I just Can I just Shapeshift now and just have an Abomination form for the rest of the thing? I've studied from Darkest Dungeon for years and you report the action I choose is always the worst. Nice. Shapeshift ends after combat. Ooh. Okay. It's still very little damage. Okay, I don't think it's worth shapeshifting for this because it's a fairly small combat. The chain stuns? Oh! You're, yes. Um, okay, yeah, let's go and stun the one in the back. Let's get a second take of bleed, which is nice. Well, I guess we're just gonna do more stunning. They have very little stun resistance. And then... Be gone, as I say, as long fiend. as we don't roll really badly... Hey, we're taking no damage this fight! Boom, 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 ba -doom, boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 boom. Eat stun, punk. This advantage. He's gonna die as soon Give as he takes no turn. Quarter. Like that. Money good. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Narrator OP. Uh, it's not a pack. We haven't found like a an interesting curio yet. Curio is just a catch-all name for like interactable items and things in this game, basically. All right, keep the torch light up. So hopefully we can get ourselves a, another scoot. And maybe surprise. Got a mushroom man? What is this? All right. Fungal Scratcher. I've not encountered them before. They have a lot of hit points at 19 and 33% productions protection. So they're going to take very little damage. Uh, it would be especially nice if we could bleed them. Um, the thing is, we don't have any powerful bleeds. Our bleeds are kind of on the weedly side. Because um, bleeds and, and blights and things like that, like damage over time, ignores their protection. Still, the guys we really have to worry about are the... Um, the uh, Acolytes back here because they will hit us with um, stress inducing attacks, which is terribly, terribly dangerous. Transform? Or just drop some stuns? I think what I might do is stun the Acolyte here. He has 25% resistance, but we're 120 with this. Like, oh no, 90% base on this one. So some people are saying stun, some people are saying transform. Some people are saying blight them, but... Well, actually, the guys in the back are pretty blightable. It's the guys in the front who aren't. We could beast bile. Like, the guy in the front has a good chance of resisting, but this one less so. Transform is not great early. The best attack is front rank. Here, let's let's just do the... Uh, what's this called? Beast's bile. Of course the guy who could get blighted just dodges. Iron Swan, the guy in the back. Leaving with 2 HP. Although, if I hounds Harry... If he hounds Harry, the guy's guaranteed to die, because we'll do at least one damage, and then he'll probably bleed for the extra point of damage. This is going to be great, unless every single person... <sighs> you know, it probably doesn't help that I was playing XCOM this morning. Um, we're gonna drop a stun on this guy here. I mean, they do have 13 dodge. I have to give it to them. 
Quill stress level rising. Yeah, I'm about that close to having a heart attack. All right, it's fine. It's fine. I've got a team of four Hellions. <laughs> Uh Oh, Absolution de-stresses yourself. And it's like, you know what? Why don't you just do some Absolution? I mean, you're not helping to kill. Maybe it would have been best at this point to transform, but... Okay, I'm gonna try with this again. Alright, hit everyone. Bleed. Okay, so he's dead. Or, yeah. He's got one HP left. On his turn, he'll take a point of damage from the bleed. Lovely. So we don't have to Iron Swan again. Um, we could Wild Hack in the front, but I think what we want to do is maybe if it bleeds. It'll still do 4 to 8 damage, and it'll increase the amount of bleed damage this guy's taking. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Extra dodge in your Hellion works. I mean, that's true while he's getting hit now, but it's gonna happen eventually. Well, at least there's a miss there, too. Nothing better than relaxing game of Darkest Dungeon after some max time. Oh, the salt, man. The salt. Um I'm just gonna move. Unless I just keep working on dropping his stress. You know what? I'll just keep doing that. It's too early to rest. Let's bring you down a little further away from, from critical freakout zone. I'm actually wondering if like continuing to stack higher levels of bleed. Because I think, I think each stack of bleed is handled independently in the background. Like, I think maybe next round, it'll just say one bleed for one round or something. It might still be best. You don't need to heal. I mean, Mark's not bad because it's got certain benefits and then lowering protection. There's some value there. This is the wise words of Optimus Prime Transform. Yeah, we'll just stack bleeds. They're, they're, these are tiny bleeds. If, if we can get this guy up to a higher rank, I'm hoping that is rank two. Oh no, but that is rank two of Harry Hound. He's still just level and bleed. Thank you for continuing to stress out that guy. Stop groping me! What do you think you are, a presidential candidate? So we still haven't managed to stun this fucker. Uh, the thing is, we need to. Oh, I can't heal from here. I could drop his stun, or his dodge. But no, I'm just gonna. point of damage or an extra bleed on you. Of course you're just gonna fucking dodge it. Piece of garbage! Ah, the language! The language is gonna be bad this stream. I can tell. Let me just move you. Because he was gonna die. All I need to do is one point of damage or a little more bleed, he was gonna die. Let's put the bleed on this guy. It's above my passive protection. Oh, I think you resisted the extra stack, unfortunately. You need to absolution yourself. Yeah. I need to absent myself is what I need to do. So he's already dead. He hasn't acted yet. What's his stun resist? Okay. Not that high. Okay, that's good. Because he'll act now, except not. So he just takes more bleed. Combination damage over time with stuns to delay things is pretty nice. He's already dead. At least we've got that going for us. This guy needs at least three more points of damage applied to him in somewhat fashion. I think we'll just attack him. Yeah, three to five. Well, it's three damage is fine. There's a chance to bleed, which didn't matter. Slowly, gently, this is how a life is taken. And he's dead to the bleed. Yeah, these guys are already dead, so we'll just uh, do some more absolution here. Juna, I, I wish. Uh, I really want a targeted heal, but uh, Divine Comfort will still be the something. Ooh, you rolled minimum. Can be healed, Lovely. But never hidden. 
Of course we'll just roll minimum on our heal. I mean, a why would we ever victory. hit and have anything else happen? But a victory, All right, so we're already, uh, we're already uh, hitting our, our limit on how much we can hold. So, you know, that's good. So what are we ditching? I'm actually thinking I might just drink the holy water. Give, give some resistances. I mean, we need to cure, like, free up more space. I really want the uh, the relics. We could drop the single painting, because it is only one. But I really want these relics. We have to increase ten. Yeah, I know the holy thing is good for curio in the room. Yeah, I could just eat a bunch of food. Oh yeah, and I never remember to use the dog treats, and they are insane. But I didn't think this wouldn't be this hard. Yeah, we'll drop the we'll drop the bandage for one. Pick up this. I guess drop the painting for the two deeds. And then... Yeah, then at some point, maybe they'll leave some more space. This curio... Oh, is this actually the curio that we use holy water on? I think it is. The pristine fountain. Fountain, to me, says says water. Holy water. People think it's a de-stress. So if we use a Burkle Blade here, the Abomination, have him use holy water in the fountain. That's what people want. Sounds good to me. Consecrate the fountain. Minus 30 stress. Okay, that is huge. I, I don't... I don't think I could have interacted with this before taking the loot, though. Could I? I wonder if there was a UI... No, I don't think so. I think I think we're sort of stuck on that. Yeah, you can. You can consume things. So you can always be like, oh, I'll use the torch to light things up and clear that, or eat some food to heal a little bit and then clear some inventory space. But yeah, not so much there. Okay, we didn't get another scout, which is unfortunate, so we don't have any warning about traps that might be coming up here. Um... Party order's got to change again. There we go, like that. Beast carcass. I'm guessing we can use herbs to season the beast carcass to get some nice food. Chat is saying herbs, herbs, herbs. Apparently there's a guy called Herb in the chat. All right. Here, it gets rid of any diseases. That is a fuck ton of food. That's more than we'll probably need. You know what we're going to do? We're going to need some over here. Get our health back up. Excellent. <laughs> then we get hunger. Like, how can you still be hungry? The rest of them are like, mm, that sounded good. Oh, this room's totally empty. Ah, we didn't get another scout. It's a damn shame. We got some random pack. Ooh, a handsome reward for a task well performed. I'm gonna drop the emeralds. I mean, it's good money, but I don't... oh, what the fuck! This is not a this is not a relic or an heirloom. It's a story. Ah! I thought it was a deed. Oh well, another empty room. I'm betting there's an interaction if we burn this. If there was holy water left, then maybe that would be a thing. Bandages? Oh, that's funny. Oh, we might get bandages out of it. Um... I'm curious. I'm going to let chat say this thing. I'm curious to see what, exactly what this one does. I want to look it up. Darkest Dungeon. Oops. Curios. Mm -hmm. Mummified. Remains. Oh, if we had bandages, we'd get gold. That's interesting. We don't have any. But if we had bandages, we'd get gold out of it. Um, interacting with it, there's a 40% chance we'll get a little money, a 40% chance we'll get blighted, and a 20% chance nothing happens. So I'm going to say, since it's just a coin flip, and even the positive coin flip's not very good, we're just going to go ahead and, and say no. I mean, blight isn't that bad. I mean, we've got we've got anti-venom to cure the blight. Uh, who's got the highest blight resist? That, that's not a bad point. Uh, 50%, 50, 30, 50. Free blight would be better. All right, let's poke it. Hey, we resist it. All right, I forgot that yeah, we could. We had a chance to resist it, and that does affect the odds a fair bit. Cruel machinations spring to life. 
That's the six damage. I think we're gonna anti venom that. If it was three, I might have just saved it. But six is quite a bit. This is a long walk. I think we're gonna yeah, we're gonna need one more torch. The match the light is here. struck. A blazing star is born. Vestal, Vestal, Vestal. Oh, oh, you're asking about the class. Yeah. So we got Houndmaster, uh, Vestal, Abomination, Hellion, and another empty room. And another no-go on the scout. Lots of just random empty packs. And fewer interesting curios. I'm happy we got the extra food, because apparently we're going to need a lot of it. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. And a low-sodium diet. I was really hoping for a scout, because here's the thing. We, assuming, and we did a safety room here. Assuming we are correct, and I'm pretty sure we are, we don't need to go into this room. I was hoping for a scout to tell us if it was empty or something interesting or whatever. Um... Here's the thing. I'm going to gamble that we don't need this room because we likely don't. And at least if we do, we don't have to go quite as far as like backtracking to the start. But yeah, we're going to we're going to go here. Another just box of stuff. Heirlooms is good. Well, beyond measure. Be able to improve the town. to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Oh! So I was just about to use the torch here as I was moving. I actually clicked, but it was as the animation happened. So that's a reduced chance of us getting surprises. But we're going to get extra stress, maybe crit more, less dodging. And I know you can, uh, I know you can torch with teeth, but... I think starting with the Hound's Harry is probably okay. We could just Hound's Rush in the back, four to seven. That would it'd dramatically increase the chance of us killing one of these guys before they get to act. I should probably... Oh, you know what? I like it. This is a good time for Snoop Scooby Snack. I completely agree. Nom, 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 nom. So, there you go. 50% more damage, 50% more accuracy. It doesn't increase the bleed damage, though. So, I think this incentivizes us to do Hound's Rush. I like it. And then, if we could, um... If we could stun this one... Very pleased with that. Now, I guess we'll Iron Swan. I mean, we're going to overkill this guy, assuming we've been hit. But it's worth stopping him from attacking. Destroyed. So with that, maybe maybe it would have been better to do the, the AOE bleed, because I could finish there. But you never know how the numbers work out. All right. These two, of course, have sun resistance now. Although I could manacle this guy. I like that. Yeah, well, I think there's probably going to be a boss fight in the final room. Well, I don't know. I mean, or bigger fight, anyway. Boss-ish. Would you... Uh, hold on. This doesn't actually... I'm just realizing. This doesn't actually use our turn, right? If I just torch. Yeah. So we're, okay. Doesn't help with the surprise thing. Uh, uh. Confidence a good surges roll, as the him. enemy crumbles. Now, now not needed. Eden kills in a good spot. Yeah, I, I think we're pretty... I, I'm pretty... I'm feeling where we are here. So, this would hit for 5 to 10. 3 to 6 to bleed. Okay, so we mean we need to roll good on our damage, but we might be able to kill him before he actually... Nope. 1 HP! Spam the emote. I mean, that, that's, not as, that's not as weird and annoying as, uh, as Sith, especially since it was about 50-50 whether we kill him there. It's not like there's like... It was like a 1 in 5 chance of getting that. I think we need to kill this guy. Because that's the best way for us to heal some damage, is to simply prevent him from inflicting any. Is that saying minus one damage? Or is that saying it's going to be one damage? Our damage is one to two. He's got the 15. Product. Yeah, so I think this is just, we're going to do one damage. I think I think it's writing the range wrong. I think we're going to do one to one damage. I think that's what that's saying. I think it's zero to one? Because I've seen it say zero to one before, haven't I? 
I think it must be one to one. Because we do one to two, he's got 15% production uh, protection. No, I guess if we roll a one, it will get rounded down to zero. So it is a zero to one. Yeah. That's not the debuff here. So there's a 50% chance he doesn't die. <coughs> um, I suppose in the case where he doesn't die, we could still potentially get a stun off. It's only, you know, slight chance to get it off. Or I could do a big party heal. Because everyone is hurt. The thing is, this guy is definitely going next, and he's definitely gonna, so he's definitely going to attack someone. I guess this might be better. He might miss. He didn't miss. Resist the bleed. He didn't resist the bleed. Yeah, I don't know. That may have not been the right way to do it. Uh, he needs to die before he goes. I think I'm just going to hound Harry here, just because it should kill him. It's 95% chance to hit, and it will kill him if it hits. And then we apply a little bit of damage to this guy. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Now his speed's low. Three? You got the stun resistance, though. You know what? I think I'll just do this. No, I still haven't transformed yet. There you Decimated. go. Very pleased with this. Remind oh. yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm not overconfident, I can guarantee you that game. In fact, I'd say I'm the opposite. So we don't have bandages, but it's not a severe bleed anyway. And we got two sources of healing. Like, he can heal himself, she can heal him. He can heal himself, too. There's actually a lot of self-sustaining going on here. Mm, we shouldn't be playing with music off. It just might be low. We're not present here. Uh, well, we can't camp here. We camp in a room after the fight. Oh, yeah, but you're right. If we camp, it'll make some more room. And I think this would be a great place to do it. We're more than halfway through the dungeon. I suspect we will camp after this fight. Uh, I also suspect we're going to start with the big AoE bleed thing. Um, we don't know... Th this kind of thing isn't guaranteed to have a boss. We don't know how many more uh, fights there's going to be. I think I'm going to eat the cookie. Yeah, Scooby Snack. Just a tentacle. But I will go with the Hound's Harry. Which... Oh, did three over there. Nice. You still have the bleed, but that's okay. Bile, because your Blight resists to 60 and 60, which isn't good. I'm going to transform! Roar! Oh, I like he, like, shrugs off the manacles. Oh, that's cool. That's a lot of extra stress. But that's cool. All right. So, we can rake, hitting the first two people. Okay, for half damage. Oh, but then it buffs yourself for more future damage. That's cool. Then we got Rage. I mean, despite this ability, I still kind of feel just like I'm some sort of rodent in a, in a cage. 85% accuracy, huge crit chance. Slam. Reduced damage, knocks back, and huge debuff. It's very cool. I think the thing to do is just to rake. Especially since it gives us a buff. I realize we're not hitting the ones in the back, and they're probably dangerous because the ones in the back are always more dangerous. At least with artillery in the name, I'm assuming it's damage and less stress. The will to fight falters. You haven't gone yet. Ah, that, we can't kill him without a crit. Can we just get some whiskey and chocolate? Hey, from Orpheus! Hey, Orpheus! Not often I have the ability to donate, but thank you for being you! You've helped me through some darkest dungeons I have experienced. Well, thank you very much for your support, Orpheus. I hope you're feeling okay. I definitely, I definitely know about that kind of shit. So, cheers to you. If you move the guy and rank two, he's less dangerous. He has to use a move skill. Yeah, that's not a bad point. This does do a lot of bleed. Ooh, nice hit. Ah, one off. I was like, I think he was only bleeding for one, so I think he still has one left. But at least now he's dead. 
Okay, he did drop a mark on it on us, although this is an okay person to mark. AoE heals, it's not bad, but I kind of might like the idea. Oh, I can't stun him, he's too far back. You've already gone. You haven't. You do have 25% stun resist. I think I like this though. Okay, I really like it now. Results oriented, I guess. And this guy's already dead. And I'm already marked, so okay. All right, he's already dead. He's actually in a good place for, actually, he's gonna die from a bleed, which means this guy will actually move forward one step. If, if he, depending on the order, um, if, um, if my Hellion goes first, he can swan song the guy in the back. And with the bleed, very likely, not guaranteed, but it's fairly likely he'll die. I don't think we need to do another Harry Hound though. Mm, or do we? Because that would probably, almost certainly guarantee he dies from an iron thing. And actually, if we kill him from the Hairy Hound, he'll presumably leave a corpse behind, so he'll stay there, which will keep the Iron Swan as an option. I don't know. I, I'm kind of feeling we just attack. As long as we hit him, he's going to die. I think that's probably okay. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. All right, we can really disrupt them. We'll send them back, but I don't know. We'll just rage it up. Both the brawler and the scratcher have attacks to do more damage to mark targets. Yeah, and I mean it's fairly common when there's you know marks going on. You have the stun resist. I mean, it could still potentially hit you, but you know for really nothing. Uh, I think the thing to do here is just heal in the front. Well, okay, hold on. Oh no, I can't dazzle light you, never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna Divine Grace up here. Ah, uh, turn order, that's annoying. It is really nice that they're only using their mark ability and not actually their attacks that do bonus against mark. At least so far. Iron Swan. A little late on the crit, would've been nice to do it the other way around, but oh well. Things died anyway. Ran the mark. Here's the damage from the mark. That could have been much worse. A death I that could have been much worse. And now I'm hoping I can do heals first. I mean, I don't want to... Okay, speed zero. He's probably going to go very, very, very late. Oh, if I transform back to human, it actually will drop some stress. Okay, I'm going to spend my turn just... Humanizing myself. He's stressing some people. I'm sorry, that doesn't end my turn? Did it end my turn when I turned into werewolf form? No. Oh. Okay, shit, that's a lot better than I thought. A lot better. Survey says no. Uh, I was really hoping the Vestal would go first. Speed 8. What's the Vestal? 2. Yeah, and because of the die roll, there's a chance he'll go before the Vestal. I would have liked to have gotten the heal off first, but no, we're just going to have to kill him. As the Fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. An altar dedicated to unholy abominations. Perhaps a great power lies within. This totally seems like 100% safe for us to touch and poke. Doesn't it? I'm covering the stats. I should move back over here. Like, touch of the altar, right? Um, we don't need holy water, which I feel we should have, but we don't have any more. I should have bought, like, many more stacks of holy water, apparently, for this. So, <laughs> let's find out how bad it would be if I were to just touch it. Holy shit. If I had holy water, purge a negative quirk? Oh, and touching is just all bad. It's 50% nothing happens, 50% something horrible happens. Well, plus 25 stress isn't horrible, but it's pretty bad. 10% negative quirk. Man, next time we come to the wield, we're bringing like a full, we're bringing a full stack of holy water. We're not gonna touch this. That is way brutal. Okay, full stack of holy water next time. Nature herself 
a victim to the spreading corruption. Oh, right, I was gonna camp. Malformed with misintent. So we got a little bit of stress from backing up there, but yeah, I forgot. A spark without kindling is a goal without hope. So there's two steps to camping. First, you can feed your people. Um, and so we have, we have 16 food left. Now, if you don't feed them, everyone loses HP and gains strength, so you don't want to do that. You could spend two, nothing happens. The more you do, um, the more healing and de-stressing happens. I think we've got tons of food, not much left. I'm gonna do a full feast. Nom, 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 nom. For both aspects of it. Because we still have eight left. Even if we get a hungry event twice, which is pretty unlikely, we're gonna be fine. Now, we've got 12 units of time to spend. And everyone's got these camp abilities. Normally you can have more, but we don't we don't have the survivalist around to unlock it. Uh, characters can actually learn more. You can see there's like seven different skills, camping skills they can have unlocked. Um, so I don't know what we've got. Highest priority is probably lowering stress. There you go, we can encourage to reduce stress by 15. Revel, the entire party will have a penalty to accuracy and speed. Oh, but it drops their stress a bunch and it gives them stress protection. Okay, we'll get we get hammered. Reject the gods! Self only reduce stress. And all compa oh, my companions would gain stress. Oof. Okay. Pep talk. This is stress uh, prevention, not reduction. Uh, anger management. This lowers... Oh, this increases my stress, but everyone else's stress goes down. Not really useful here. Eldritch blood. Stealth only. 40% resist to basically everything. and But increased stress. Still very cool. Uh, the Vestal has got a heal that also can remove blood, bleeding and blight. Chant, which gives stress protection and removes some stress. And Sanctuary for self, prevent nighttime ambush. I think we're probably going to run this because that's actually really, really nice so you don't have a random fight at night. And then a Hundemustu, heal, remove bleeding blight. Hound's Watch, prevent nighttime ambush. And, oh, this is much better. So, um, the Sanctuary would be better if we had anyone had like the Death's Door shit going on, but we don't. Whereas Hound's Watch will make it so we won't, we're not gonna get surprised, but there's a much higher chance we surprise people and still prevents nighttime ambush. So yeah, Hound's Watch is the best PNA. Oh, prevent nighttime ambush? Yeah, I like this. We're gonna, we're gonna plan on Hound's Watch. I must rest now, girl. Your nose must guard us tonight. And what was your last one? Man's best friend. Minus 20 stress. Okay, Houndmaster, or rather the Hound, is, is the absolute goat. All right, let's do the encourage first to burn away some stress. You're gonna do that one, and you're gonna do, oh, hold on, did I do that wrong? That's actually, that was a misclick. Uh, do we have another stress actual reduce for, for the... No, I guess not. We may as well wound carry you. Two turns left. We can do a little bit more. No. Uh, you only have six stress. I mean, you're not terribly wounded. Still, you know what? Let's pet the dog. Pet the dog. It's the only answer. Whatever tomorrow brings, six legs are better than two. It doesn't matter if it was only six stress. We have to pet the dog. The light. The promise of safety. Oh yeah, and then we get full light, that's true. Okay, moving forward now properly. Is this hallway really empty? An old tree! This tree has a huge hole in the trunk. Perhaps there's something inside. See, if I, I played enough D&D to know you don't like just reach a hand into some hole unless you want something bad to happen. But I bet you it's just there's a good chance of treasure. Maybe there's a chance of something bad. We could burn it. We could dig it. We could use a thing. I mean, when in doubt, you shovel, right? But there's anti-venom. Oh, because there could be a bug in there. Yep, that's true. Uh, you might lose your hand. That would be bad. So. Hmm. Look it up, just use your hand. What I think we're gonna do, like, I, I, I'd lean towards, I, I might lean towards an anti-venom, because I don't think we really need to save it, just as an experiment. That's sort of where I'd lean, but I don't have a strong thought. I, I feel like there should be something that happens if you torch it. I don't know if it's gonna be good or bad. So let's find out what the wiki has to say about an old tree. 
This tree has huge hole in it. Oh, okay. So yeah, if you just reach in, there's a 50% chance you'll get two loot. 25% chance of blight, 25% chance of nothing. So that's actually not even that dangerous. If we do use an anti-venom, it's just we get three loot. So yeah, it, it's... If we didn't have an anti-venom, it wouldn't be the end of the world. We may as well use it. I don't think we need to save it. And we'll just get some extra stuff. Alright, I like the evasion incense. That's nice. The protection stone would be amazing on Crusader, right? Because Crusader is basically at zero speed anyway, so who cares? Yeah, I like that. Alright, we'll take that stuff. I don't think... I don't know if we have to equip it now. I mean, minus one speed. It's someone who already goes pretty quick. F it. Let's do that. I'm okay with it. Torch it up. Hop inside. <laughs> yeah, listening to Twitch chat is also kind of cheating, too, so... It's more interesting if we get the information. Da, 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 da. I still feel like you should just be able to burn this guy. You know? Doesn't doesn't that sound fun? Um, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and poke it anyway. Again, you had the 60% blight resistance. Or 50%, which I think is as good as anyone's got. It doesn't really matter who pokes this. Hey, no blight this time! Whole 25 cents. Ooh. Listen to Twitch chat is silly. I mean both helps and doesn't. A box! What's in the box? Ooh, heirlooms. Yeah. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. <laughs> wow, so many empty rooms here. Oh my god! Is that our first scout? Of the run? No, second scout, because we got that one there. It wasn't an important one. But hey, we revealed one whole trap, you guys. Scooch. Scooch. There you go, it's lit. 70, 50, 50, 110 percent chance to disarm. All right, because one of these whistles, right? Yeah. Watch just fail somehow still, and we're like, wait, what? How does math? All right, we don't have anti venom, but we've established that we feel like this is a pretty safe interaction. Worst case scenario is maybe a blight, and we got nothing. All right. 110 percent loops around becomes 10 percent. <laughs> All right, quest complete. Woo. Uh, and just double check. There's no reason for us to poke forward anymore. There's nothing to enact in the room. We got the hunooch. Yeah, let's go. Every cleared path and charted route reduces the isolation of our troubled estate. Yeah, that run was surprisingly okay, actually. And what's amazing, though, is we did end up with, like, basically no stress on our party, which is huge. It means a lot less downtime. Now, here's where stuff can get a little hairy. What do we get? Shinox has got natural swing plus five accuracy. We're going to have to upgrade Shinox to be our very first plus, plus, plus character. Holy crap. Also, level two results kind of sexy. Cave phobe. So, Burko doesn't want to go into the cove. All right. So, we just don't bring Burko to a cove. That's fine. Um, plus 20% stress if HP is below 50%. Annoying, not a game breaker. Although Roadster already doesn't have like tremendous traits, so I don't know. Natural swings amazing on Hellions, yeah, nice. And Pup got nothing. Although I think if uh, if one of the traits got in locked time, in, I don't you think it would will show know up the there. tragic extent of my failings. Yeah, Juna removing Dark Temptation was really nice, just because this is like just uncontrolled interaction with um, certain curios, which could be so dangerous. Cured the diseases, removed a bunch of stress. That's nice. So, Roadster Tracker here. The speed debuff is annoying. The thing is... The rest doesn't really matter. I think if we removed Nocturnal from Roadster Tracker, I think we could safely call Roadster Tracker a plus instead of equal. I think that's a definite possibility. Okay. 
now that Shonix has five traits, five positive quirks, if Shonix were to develop an additional positive quirk, it would randomly replace one of the ones that uh, she's got. So what we could start doing is consider, is there something in here that's so important we would like to lock in? Is there, can anyone possibly see, maybe, a trait being pointed out right now that is so important that we never, ever, 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 ever want to lose it? I don't know. I don't know if anything comes to mind right now, you guys. And at the same time, as you're being treated to lock in your natural swing, we can get rid of soft. I think that's what's going to happen in the sanatorium. And treatment library, make some cheaper treatment costs. Oh, we can't get another patient cell. Yeah, I don't think, I think what we want to do is we do want to do this because we want to lock in natural swing, which is expensive. And then we'll remove soft at the same time, which is fairly cheap. We could bring down the cost. But we may need to use these somewhere else. Yeah, 1200 is fairly cheap. The 6000 is pretty expensive, though. Now, let's consider. So we haven't actually locked, um, locked you in there. What we should take a quick look at is the stagecoach. See who might be willing to join in. And what we might want to do. Let's sort by our classes. So we can get a bit of an idea. I don't know if the classes are alphabetical or not. Um, occultist. Okay, because we only have one occultist. And occultists are really nice. Misses the spot. Minus 2% crit. Not the end of the world. Tough. Oh. Oh, this is really good. This is really good. Yeah, Shanix is also the only level 2. Um, we need this occultist. So, hey! We're going to do a first draw on Mubot. To give this character a name. Uh, where's the bouton for that? Manage giveaway? There it is. Draw entrant! The only Shen! Hey! Cultist. The only Shen. Why did I put an equal sign in there? That was weird. I don't think I typed that. Because you're definitely going to start as a plus over here. For sure. You even start with weird reconstruction, which is nice. All right, now we've got to kick someone is the problem. Fletcher, we haven't even brought one time. Is one of two shield breakers. We consider Kano's traits to be stronger. Yeah, because you have the bonus to range skills, but most of your stuff is melee. You've got a ranged here and a ranged here. The other person we have flagged as equal... Well, we, uh, there was Konu. Or Yukuno. I always say it wrong way. But, oh, did I not just sort by... Oh, I sorted by activity instead. Okay, hold on. Am I going crazy? Roadster Tracker is a Vestal. Kuno is a Vestal. Sort by class, the party will always be at the top. Oh. Is there, other than hitting Embark and then clicking here, is there a way to just, like, yeah, I guess not. Just clear that party? Okay, I, I sort of see the reasoning there. But let's try this again so that... There we go. So, Roadster and Kuno are both just set to be equal, as opposed to a positive here. And you've got the locked in... Okay. Kuno, I'm really sorry. You've been around forever. Good supporter of the channel. You have a hard locked in Fragile, which would cost us 6,000 or 9,000. Some ridiculous amount of gold to remove. Hardskin's really good, though. Yeah, Hardskin's really good. And actually, I guess counters the Fragile. What else might we get rid of? Right, Fletcher. I think we get rid of Fletcher. I hate getting rid of people.
Oh, hey, Becca. Uh, well, we we currently can't afford to do it. We might be able to swap some things around to do it, but it's pretty expensive. We will do it. Uh, let me check these others, too. Musketeer, uh, Fear of Eldritch. Okay, we can probably live without that. We're going to live without that, that's for sure. Faded's really nice. But that's kind of annoying. Okay, I don't think there's any other must-buys from the Stagecoach. Except for the Occultists, because we love Occultists, and these are these are pretty good. All right, Fletchery had gone. Gah! Send this one to journey elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. It, it hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. But yeah, you have a lot of potential. So Vecca still got some stress. Which will potentially decay a little bit. Uh, I mean, we could send you in for treatment. Although we do have a second occultist now, which is kind of nice. Rip double shield breaker. Well, hopefully we'll get another one maybe later on. As we get our barracks bigger. We already got two occultists. Three is a bit too much. Oh, wait. For some reason, I thought we only had two occultists. You're kind of right. Well, what we might do is we'll probably end up pitching one that develops some sort of bad combination. Fletcher Soul Survivor. But he's not the first one we've kicked. No one's died yet, which is pretty good. But I think we kicked someone else before. Four times at Cultist Party? That would be interesting. Um, so let me double check. Can we upgrade the guild? We can make it cheaper, which is fine, but not... Necessarily highest priority. Blacksmith. Ah! Okay. We can upgrade the blacksmith to allow weapons or armor to go up to rank 2. Which I think we're going to start investing in. Go weapons? Sure. Fan the flames. And we're going to figure Move out who we're upgrading metal. here. Let's we plan our next embark. Army. How sad is it that you have more chance of getting people back from the graveyard than if they're kicked? <laughs> So where do we want to go next? I mean, we could do the Warrens again. Musketeer boots. Mm, those are not terribly interesting. Medics boost. Plus 33% healing skills? Oh, for, for the Musketeer only, which we currently don't have yet. Those are really nice boots. Antiquarian. Plus 25% protection. Now, we don't have an Antiquarian right now. We had one, and we had to throw her out. Because while the Antiquarian is amazing for making a ton of money, um, if I recall correctly, you just developed way too many terrible skills. So we're desperately hoping that a new Antiquarian shows up in the, uh, the wagon at some point. Do we have a Musketeer? What do they look like? Because those are Grave Robbers. Oh, right here! Yeah, Crafty Old Goat, you're right. Yeah, and how, what kind of healing do you do? Plus 33% healing skills. Oh, okay. You can get your patch up to start a, start becoming kind of crazy good. Now, Crafty's still pretty stressy right now. We may have to give you some treatment. I don't know. I think... Um, stun Amulet. Yeah, I guess the ones that are not class-specific tend to have some sort of drawback. I really want to have this Carapace Idol. Even though we don't have an Antiquarian right now. It feels too good. And yeah, Musketeer is just skin in the Arbalist, yeah. This feels too good. Does healing skills also include camp skills? I'm not sure. I think so. Yeah, I think we're going to end up going here in the ruins. So what we're going to do is we're going to source by stress levels here. And we're going to be... Well, how do we want to sort it, actually? And sort by level, maybe, to start off with. Like, Shonix isn't that stressy. Snoopy is not that stressy. Fuzz. Like, so something like that. Fuzz, Shonix. Uh, maybe we want Shonix up front, actually. Because Fuzz, the Crusader, can do absolutely everything from the second position. First and second position makes no difference to the Crusader. 
You don't have like a built-in movement skill for moving back forward if you get knocked back. That's not true. We could we could grab the Holy Lance. I think we should unlock the Holy Lance for a Crusader. If we're gonna if we're gonna start the Crusader in the second position, and there's a chance they get knocked back to the third position, unlocking Holy Lance to be able to go forward again is kind of nice. I don't know what we drop. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's whiskey and chocolate. Chocolate. Whiskey and chocolate. Cabana! Remember the Shonex straight lock-in. Yeah. Uh, we will go back to town. We're not going to start the uh, the thing right now, but do make sure I remember to, to like, assign people. We're going to want to de-stress some people. We're going to want to treat some people for things. Um, so, yes, we're going to try to remember to do that. I'll just try to plan out the party first because we'll probably want to send them the guild and or the blacksmith to uh, to get some lovin'. Um, so what we don't have here is sort of a backline healer type person. Um, well, how about an occultist? Uh, apparently we have three of them. So, you know. So, Vekka's got too much stu um, uh, stress right now. So, Blue Link. You have the Obsessed with Killing. I don't know what that's going to do. You do have bonus damage in the Ruins. And bonus damage against Unholy, of which the Ruins are full of this shit. So, yes. Now, we may want to drop the Sacrificial Stab. Because you can't use that from the rear position, which is where we want you. We could give you... Either the Hex, or actually, honestly, maybe the Pull. Although, really, people in the back, I don't think we're going to want to pull people yeah, forward. We're probably just going to use, um, like, the artillery or something like that. Or the curse on the back. I don't know. Pull's really nice. Yeah, we might drop, um, we might drop weakening curse in exchange for the pull. Or, right, no, sacrificial stab is what we're going to drop. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with this. Did we have more whiskey and chocolate just now? Oh, it's Cabana again! You can't take Shonix if you need to send her for troop. Oh, you're right! That's what you meant. Yes, 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 you're absolutely right. Drop Shanix because we want to treat you instead. Um, we could bring Slumber King if we still want a Hellion. Reduce stress in the runes, that's nice. Uh, and you don't want to do some things in town? Yeah, that's kind of... I like this! I like this. And yeah, before we send them places, we will do a... Uh, We'll do an unequip all, which is a little annoying, because but whatever, but it's probably the best way to do it. Um, so let's pop into town. So, we're going to go to the sanatorium. And Shonix, you're going to go to treatment ward, you're going to lock in your natural swing, and you're going to get rid of your soft. Yes, I think so. Put the Crusader in third and open with her Holy Lance. Oh, that is kind of interesting. Yeah? Juna. Sorry, yes, I know you don't like it. Sorry, Juna. Done. Uh, crafty old goat will de-stress you and Vecca as well. We don't need more stress recovery. Could make this cheaper. I think I was going to make the treatment cost percentage cheaper, which I should have done probably first. Uh... A little hope. However desperate, is never without worth. All right, I'm okay with this. Dun dun. dun. <laughs> Your teaching quality gets paid if you miss slash forget stuff. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of like how we teach Bella that if she just whines enough, eventually we will like give her a, a treat or pay attention to her or something. Which actually, I guess teaching a dog to communicate needs and wants like that is pretty valuable. Okay, I think I'm okay with this. Oh, guild. Man, what would I do without you guys? Snoopy! Okay. You've got your level twos, and I think we're happy with your loadout. Fuzz, we are going to unlock Holy Lance. Yes. And we may as well bring Smite Accusation. What's going to be our final ability here for Fuzz? Because I want Smite and Accusation. We'll grab Holy Lance. So the question is, do we pack a heal? Bulwark of Faith. I mean, Bulwark of Faith, on that turn, we don't do anything. But we do buff us up with the protection. We increase the torch, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, the stun. No, you're probably right. We probably do need to do the stun. So we just Smite, Accusation, Stun, and Holy Lance. Crusader's just going to deal damage. 
which is pretty legit. Um, which actually might really incentivize us bringing Fuzz's weapon up one notch. I think that's correct. Okay. I think I'm... I mean, yes, and this is just your most normal attack, that's fine. We use this a lot. Bleed out. Oh yeah, only hits the person in the front. I kind of feel like I might rather have Breakthrough on Slumber King. Yeah. We're burning through our money pretty quickly. And here I was going to get... Damon's pool. And do that. Um, and then we are going to blacksmith, at the very least, Mr. Fuzzy here. Oh, that's cheap. Alright, we're down to 3,000 gold. We're going to spend a lot of it on iron bark stuff. But I think this is well invested. And yes, we have to remember to change their abilities. So, um, I was going to drop Bleed Out for Breakthrough. I was going to drop Battle Heal for Holy Lance. Um, no changes to be made here. Here, I'm going to drop Sacrificial Dab for Demon's Pull. If I had more money, we do, I'm sure, have the Survivalist unlocked now, right? Oh no! Not yet, never mind. Okay, it's so medium run, so we're going to have the supplies. So shift click? Oh, that's handy. Two stacks of food. Two stacks of torches. Yeah, we spent a lot of money. And we're broke! Oh, trinkets. <laughs> You're already going to be going at basically no speed. And we'll do this. So your speed stays the same, but you get a bit more dodge in the front, same as last time. I don't know if I'm going to apply the debuff amulet to anyone. Uh, the Occultist does have some debuffy stuff. He's in the back, so his dodge... Oh, he, hold on. It's minus four dodge. So I can do this and still have insane dodge. That is Warren. I have the wrong quest. Thank you. Because I wanted to go ruins, right? This one. Why did it select this one instead? I might have just clicked on it. Exit embark it resets. Ah. Yeah, I don't know what we drop for the shovel though. Maybe the key. The key just gives us more money. I think we do this. Do you know you can swap skills in and out while in the while in a dungeon? No, I did not know that. I'm assuming you can't do it mid-fight, but I did not realize you could swap your skills in the dungeon itself. Holy crap. No, that's, that's massive. Yeah, obviously unlock skills. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to unlock them in town at the guild. I did not know that. Yeah, maybe less food. And then let's bring a key. And you know what? We may as well spend the money, right? There. Mind blown. I, I don't think I'm the only person who just got their mind blown. 
I do know, I did figure out uh, that you could change trinkets, because it came up, because I looted the trinket. I'm like, can I equip it right away? Oh, you can. Oh, that's huge. I've got a fever, and the only cure is more shovels. <laughs> the fiends must be driven back. And so what are we? Oh, hundred percent room battles. That's what we're looking for. Ah, noble line. Hopefully, we can get a scout by the end in case there's not fights at the end over there. But there's going to be some back and forth. Which makes me wish maybe we had more food. It's whiskey and chocolate. It's whiskey and chocolate. We also have a locked display cabinet. I'm assuming since it's locked, we're probably going to want to use a key. What's the whiskey and chocolate? Hey, Shonix! Hey! <laughs> my lord, I have earned my rest for one singular night. But if you leave me, be I should do a different voice because the Hellions are female. But anyway. Uh, but if you leave me behind once more, I will go to another banner to fight. I will keep the rhymes for all this game, so long as my character continues to gain fame. So good. Yeah, let's go and pop the lock. Treasures! Woo! Packs laden with loot laden are often with low on supplies. The men are men, the women men too. Uh, open the door. Just the men and women both sound exactly like the narrator in this world. That's all it is. All right, we're going to go down this way. There's bound to be at least a fight. I mean, it's not guaranteed, but we can probably assume. And that's not a room battle. This doesn't wouldn't count as something we needed to do. Uh, the light's still full. That's going to be okay. This looks like a great opportunity for Grape Shop Blast, since it's exactly three. Be gone, fiend. Inspiration. Jackies! Improvement. Feels good, man. I mean, we're in level Seize one dungeon with our momentum. weapon upgrades now. It's actually pretty Push substantial. Push on to the tasks and eh. oh, it's just a pack. If only and we got a key back. Oh, we've got the uh, we've got a journal page. Just doing this so that when people check the vod, they can pause it and read the lore. Although I'm assuming there's a wiki page with all the lore. Decorative urn. If I recall correctly, we can put holy water into the ashes for good things to happen. I'm going to be interacting with Holy Water. I am going to check the wiki to see, is there someone specifically we want to use this with? Decorative Urn. Oh, Shovel. Oh, right. Shovel is bad for this. It gives you a quirk, Guilty Conscience. Trinket. If Holy Water means we get more more money, gems and trinkets and stuff, which is really good. If we just go into it directly, uh, there's a chance of loot. There's also a heavy chance of blight or disease, which would be poor. But yeah, we'll use some Holy Water. Uh, since it's just money, it doesn't matter who does it, so that's going to be OK. Oh, we shovel. <laughs> holy Water. Thump. Uh, that is actually a really bad loot roll, unfortunately. I think the ruins, though, generally speaking, might have more just money items than some of the others. Like, if we're hurting on money, the, the ruins runs might be slightly better. Okay. Dodged! 18 dodge, man. That paid off there. The Tempting Goblet is annoying. I can't believe they're both... I mean, they are fast with their speed of 8, and we didn't get a surprise. Well, since these two have already gone, we don't have to worry too much about just focusing them down. Uh, although, it'd be nice to kill them before they go again next round, and they do go early, so maybe, but... Um, I'm going for a fairly Precision efficient attack here. And power. Debuffed so we can crit them more as well, which could be nice. Mm, may as well Iron Swan the guy in the back. So, we're about 50-50 whether or not we'll kill him. Another one Rolled falls. exactly what we needed. Super efficient. If we do the Jacuz, it will kill this guy. It'll be fairly damage effect efficient. This guy hasn't acted yet. He's also unholy. We do do 20% bonus damage for super unholy. 7 to 15. He's got 11. So we're slightly better than 50-50 to kill him before he acts. What's the speed? Zero? Ah, uh, yeah, but the uh, occultist's not going to kill him. How do we feel? I think I'm just gonna go ahead and and smite, and hope we kill him before he takes an action. Eradicated. All right, that worked out. Oh, the twenty percent is already calculated. You're right. So no need to do any heals. Um, yeah, the artillery is no good. Curse doesn't do much damage, and this can't hit him. So well, I guess we are gonna curse. It doesn't do much. So we'll do one to two or two to three. Unless we get a crit, which we are 23% chance to crit. A singular strike. Precision. 
press this advantage. I'm like, oh, that's great. It'll, no it'll, it'll take care of them both. Oh, dodge for the win. Woo! Confidence Two crits in a row! The enemy <laughs> I mean, it's tiny little damage. Uh, but, you know, we're counting some of the stress. This expedition at least promises success. An art sarcophagus. It is slightly ajar. What's in the jar? Is it jam? I feel like what we want to do is use a shovel to help us pry things open. And if there's anything I've found out from Twitch chat, is when in doubt, shovel. Too many crits is land badly. Um, I'll just check to see if there, I, I assume it's just loot, but just in case there's like an interaction with um, quirks or whatever, uh, we may want to min-max a little. Uh, it's not locked, okay. Oh, there's no interaction. If it was a locked sarcophagus, then a key or a shovel would be good. A regular sarcophagus, literally nothing matters. Um, so, we just poke it. So nothing actually interacts with this. If we just poke it, 60% chance of loot, 20% chance of nothing, 20% chance of thanotathobia, which I think is a fear of snapping fingers. Do one of our people have it already in this group? No. F it. Hey, treasure. So we're really hoping for a scout in this room to confirm whether or not we got to go into the last one. This could be a pretty stressful fight. Oh, and they're going first, and the light's not maxed out, which is really annoying, so we're going to get slightly more stress from that. Uh, yeah, let's torch it up here. I know, T for torch. Um... You've already gone. Stunning blow can't hit the guy in the back anyway. So we'll just do a, a damage efficient. Jackies! Executed with impunity. That worked out really well. It makes the grape shot less efficient though, so I don't think we're gonna do that. Um, I mean, you can't be bled. It's still five to nine damage. Five to nine either way. Crit 12, hit 9, this is only a bigger crit chance. No, I think we just shoot one of the guys in the back. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. We could hack this guy. Uh, as long as we hit, he'll die. And he hasn't gone yet, actually, so yeah, we'll do that. Back to the pit. You're not terribly hurt. I don't know if I'm going to do weird reconstruction yet. He actually hesitated about clearing the corpses. I'm like, do we actually want him to be in the front? Blossoms. Helps with some people, but less with others. Uh, right, the citron's not worth much. We'll drop you. We definitely want the deeds. Apparently we can't stack. 750 is pretty valuable. Onyx. Okay, well, the emerald's worth more than the onyx. Yeah, it's just the one torch. Yeah, so we'll burn. We'll burn the it. Light, just to technically max the promise out. of safety. We'll Pile of books. We do not want to burn us. I do know that if you torch the stack of books, you generate is it like a hundred stress or something ridiculous like that. I think the books are just like. Yeah, I think you should just leave them alone, if I recall correctly, because there's no there's no positive thing. Ah, uh, no, hold on, that's not true. Stack of books. Okay. Stack of books is basically an even chance-ish. So it's a 32% chance of effectively nothing happens. A 42% chance of badness, either stress or negative quirk, or reduced lightness. Really only the negative quirk is the bad part. But then we have a 22% chance of a random positive quirk. It's a, it's a gambler's one. The odds I think are better. There's a chance that we like ruin someone with a bad quirk. But I kind of feel like poking the book. Whatever, the occultist wants to poke the book. Now you get stressed. 
Oh no, it lowers the light. Yeah, that's fine. Although we don't have that many torches, really, but. That's the only reason ever, ever, ever touch books. I don't know, the 22% chance of getting a positive quirk. Like, if you're okay with the possibility you might ruin one of your characters, but you might make a super character. So you sort of like look at, you know, uh, who could we maybe risk it on? Still no scout. So I have to check this room in case it's a battle. God. Do we have more holy water? No. I don't want a shovel. What happens if you just poke, like, the decorative urn directly? I don't think it's what you want to do. Um. All right, basically we've got a, an 11% chance of getting the disease. There's a chance we get blighted, but, you know, it's not a big deal. There's a fairly decent chance at loot, although our inventory is pretty full right now, but we might get stackables. You know what? It's, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, I was a little bit worried about this happening. And technically, dropping the onyx and picking up the jade would worth a little bit more money. I think I'm going to drop the bandages. And not bother with the citrine. Yeah, apparently it only stacks to five. All right, we got the surprise. We got a big dude in the front. Zero dodge, no protection, just a big bucket of hit points. I'm okay with that. At the cutthroat and the fizzier over here. Um, well, I guess the crusader really has no chance. What, you're like, yeah, 50% dot or stun protection. Although it is 110 base right now, so 60% chance of stunning him versus just starting to apply some damage. Yeah, we'll just start to apply some damage. That's gonna be okay. Um, this is not an optimal place for Grape Shot Blast because it's only gonna hit two people. I mean, these guys tend to be better threats, but I'm actually thinking, I'm just gonna stack damage on the guy in front here. Because he's actually pretty annoying too. I resist the bleed, which is unfortunate. down to four. Yeah, we got a couple of less great rolls. Well, we, we need we need to finish him. Although, we can't finish him with that. Oh, that's actually really shitty. Alright. You need to get Admiral Akbar for pun plus 100% trap awareness. Okay. Okay, that actually went really badly. I sort of gambled on finishing this guy before he did any bullshit, and it didn't happen. Oh, and he's going first in the second round? That's annoying. Good dodges, though. Now, if I grape shot, it's going to hit three to six. Because ah, I'd rather do this with the idea that we can apply a little bit of damage to this guy. But if I only roll the three, that's really bad. Also, the grape shot's only 80% chance to hit. I think I gotta go here for the 95 and guaranteed chance to, or guaranteed enough damage to kill him. Monstrous but see, this guy has a lot of stress generation no attacks, so it actually was a good idea to focus him down. Sucks that we didn't get there. Sanguination be considered I know he's already gone, but Iron Swan's just such a good attack. And we I don't think we could have killed him in a single attack there anyway, so that'll have to do. Uh, this is definitely a weird reconstruction timing. 13 and bleed resisted. Excellent. This, unfortunately, all we can do is crit the dead body. No stress reduction, unfortunately, but sure. Okay. Ah. shoot you now. And that doesn't help either. So, high women basically doing nothing. I don't have my bandages, but, I mean, we don't, our bleeds aren't that bad. One to two, weird reconstruction. What are you... You're down 11. Alright. Okay, at least you resisted the bleed. God damn, heal for one. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. I definitely want the bust. Could eat, not torching. 
I'm not gonna drop the key. I think we'll drop the onyx. Eat four food? Mmm. We need some. No, I'm, I'm a little worried about running out of food. I'm just gonna drop the onyx. But yeah, the holy fountain's really good. We don't have holy water. I think it's still okay to poke with, though. Oh yeah, it's totally safe. That's right. Holy water, all it, all holy water does is make the fountain do more than it normally does. Or at least it guarantees that you get the stress and healing, as opposed to maybe only a chance of getting stress and healing or gems and gold. Um, so basically we want to interact with it with someone who's hurt and stressed. So right over here. And all we got is the money. I think we would have preferred the other one here, but eh, it's okay. Uh, so we're here, so we have to do a bunch of walking. We may consider camping this room over here when we get there. Hunger? Yeah, that's why I was kind of concerned about the food situation. Uh, I was going to say, we already interacted with that, yep. Uh, I'm going to avoid torching here because when we camp, it does reset the uh, light to, uh, to 100. Not yourself when you're hungry. Yeah, we're all hangry. Yeah, I'm wondering about camping in the middle room. We're going to have a discussion here. Because what we're going to have to decide is do we want to camp now? Because the light's gotten a fair bit low. Or do we want to press a little bit more? Because we've got we've got another fight in us. I feel like I feel like we do go for one more. Now, do we torch or do we let... Uh, by the time we get into the... If there's a fight in this room, I think we're going to be below 50% light, which does not feel ideal to me. Mind that such missteps are the exception and not the rule. Yeah, so... And I'd really like to get... Well, I guess the scout doesn't matter that much. Yeah, that's right. You do get more loot if it's really dark, but... Oh, no! He's interacting with it! No! Don't do that! You bastard! Blue Link! If you're in chat, I'm very upset with you right now. So, you never want to interact with the Iron Maiden um, by itself. It's really good with... Um, I think holy water or maybe anti-venom. One of those two actually leads to some fun things. But you got yourself tetanus, minus five accuracy, minus 5% crit. That's kind of crappy. Yeah, absolute bad man. That's why I really hate the traits that, um, that cause people to interact with curios against your health. That's why you gotta keep up your vaccinations. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the bleed's not really going to do anything. It would be nice to kill him, but we'll do here. As long as we hit, we're guaranteed to kill him. But of course, why would we ever hit? Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Yeah, get loot if you have no space for it. So light it up. I mean, that's a good point. What is with these one rolls on the heel? Oh my god. Obliterated. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Yeah, I may as well torch. In case it was a fight, plus encourage the scouting. I mean, it sort of wastes the torch if we're going to camp. But I really wanted it, you know, slightly higher level. Um, I think one more room camp. We're, we're half health and fairly stressed. I think we are going to camp. I don't think it's too early. We're literally halfway through the dungeon. We've checked five rooms. There's five rooms left. One more in the camp. A lot of people want a little bit more. You can always camp in the chapel. Is this... Oh, is this room, like, known to be a thing? One more way through. Everyone wants us to push on. All right. Here's me getting, getting peer pressured again. I'm so bad at resisting this. Which does make it very entertaining. Um, if I remember correctly, the urn was okay, right? Oh, right, there's, no, there's a chance of disease. No, no, yeah. 
There's a chance of extra loot, and there's just a bunch of chance of disease. I think I did it last time, but I'm gonna have to skip it now. The bookshelf is really interesting. I don't think there's any, there's no item we can use. Um, actually, it's not bad. Yeah, there's a 20% chance of getting some stress. It's only 15, which isn't the end of the world. There's a 6.7% chance of a negative quirk. I can totally deal with that. Um, and then there's a chance we get scouting. There's also a chance, a 13% chance, so double a chance of getting a positive quirk. I'm going to I'm gonna poke the bookshelf here. Um, we don't want to use it on someone who's got much stress, because that would be a little bit annoying. You know what? I'm going to roll it on Snoopy, see if we can get him another positive trait. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, oh, we got a scouting boost. And we've literally scouted the rest of the dungeon. Oh, which tells us we don't even have to go down here, because we only have to check all the battle rooms. We might want to go down, check two curios. We then have to walk backwards, which generates stress. It might be worth checking the first curio anyway. Now, we know this next room is a battle. Would we consider backing up? No, we're too far in. But we are going to go and make sure we're fully torched up for this fight. Which only leaves us, what, not two torches. Yeah, we should be fine. Uh, we have... Since we don't have to go down here, I'm confident about the amount of food. Keep in mind, we're going to have to eat at least two food when we're camping. And I don't know how, how the hunger events happen. They seem to be pretty random. I don't know if there's a clock. I can't camp now. We have to camp in a room. We have to camp inside a room. I can't camp in a hallway. Uh, you can see it's grayed out over here. I think we can afford to maybe drop down to... I mean, at least we can eat... We can at least eat... And save ourselves six. Two for the camp, and then four for maybe another event. <laughs> yeah, save eight, people are saying. I'm okay with this. So I just wanted a little bit more stuff going on. All right, let's go in. Oh, it's just spiders. Wow, this is a very low danger fight. They only have 7 HP. Ah, uh, that was the wrong button. You saw nothing! That was supposed to be a great shot blast. I'm, I'm very saddened. Okay, I'm also annoyed by that. Because this is a very easy fight. You just heard me say it. I was just saying, this is a really easy fight, you guys. Ugh. Speed four, and he goes first, and drops the blight. That's actually super annoying. I may as well still grape shot here. Eh, no, that doesn't make any sense. As long as we don't roll min, or even if we roll min, if we get a bleed off on this. Well, you haven't acted yet, so can you. Masterfully executed. Uh, yeah, that's not that much blight damage. You've already gone. I'll just weird reconstruct here. A momentary okay. abatement. Full heal, resist the bleed. Be wary. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzying fall. Okay, yeah, we don't have any way to get rid of the blight, because I was like, oh, we'll just consume that. Um, I think we can afford to not grab the bandages. What's annoying is that we're going to have room in a second when we use the key on this, assuming it's locked. But yeah, we'll just leave the bandages. Camp before chest to get space. That's a good thing. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, let's do it. Circle in the dark. So we may the as well use the four food. Won. Get more heals. Actually, everyone's mostly full. Stress isn't too bad. Anyone who can reduce stress, we want to go ahead and do that. I'm just checking for. That is the zealous speech is pretty good, because you can't encourage yourself. But zealous speech would affect you and reduce stress for everyone afterwards. This does remove blight. It's only one extra damage, though. Right, the clean guns. Oh, bandit sense. Yes, this is um, this is the same as the uh, the houndmaster one. Prevent nighttime ambush, and we get the uh, the surprise modifications. So we're definitely gonna do bandit sense. Yeah, we're not doing dark ritual. I'm 
okay with this. I don't think anyone had any one turn moves. I think one might exist somewhere. Yeah, ambushes do suck. So yeah, when you camp, there's just a chance the you get this extra lit. random fight. The path and you'll be like, is oh, clear. That sucks. We require only the strength to follow okay, it. Okay, it's not locked. I think using a key, yeah, still generates about the extra loot. I don't think there's any reason not to use the key here. A handsome reward for a task well performed. All right, um, let's pop this way and just check that first curio at least, because there's basically no backtracking at all. Okay, it's just, oh no! Well, I guess that's fine, ish. I thought I was close enough to be able to hit up. There it is, now it's lit. So you hit up, like you hit the W key, and that's how you interact with things and doors and shit. Do secret rooms spawn on medium missions? I don't remember. I am not aware of secret rooms being a thing. So that's that's news to me, maybe a spoiler. Is it what, on like a scout, is there a chance you find a room that you wouldn't otherwise be able to go to? That's interesting. So no traps, just a curio at the end of all this. May as well torch. As the light free. gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. All right, let's go. Uh, you, if you see a star on the map, that's a secret room. Critical scouting check, secret room. They spawn on medium, you need a key. Oh, you need a key to go in? They have a really good treasure. You'll learn about secret rooms with a key and an antiquarian. Oh, is that where you get like all the loot? Yeah, we need an antiquarian back. We just ruined our other one, sort of. Well, it was gonna be really expensive to make him be, like, have a point. I think we'll just, um, Demon's Pool here. It's one of our better damaging moves. And if we can, yeah, yank one of these guys forward so he can be meleeed, that's not so bad. Although what I will do here is I will Iron Swan. The guy in the back, not kill him. But yeah, then it sets up for a good Grape Shot Blast. We've at least had a good run. This is not like how our first run started today, where like everything missed forever. So that is kind of a little annoying. Okay, secret rooms don't need a key, but the key unlocks a really good loot. I see what you're saying. Do this for efficient damage. I'm in a weird reconstruction. I think I'm gonna do this. Uh, unless we crit, there's no chance we'll kill him. What about artillery? Yeah, that seems fairly efficient, and it's cool graphic. It's enough torch before last hit. Oh, the loot isn't locked in at the start of combat. So if I bring the torch down to zero, and then kill him. I'll get more loot, because this is the last fight. It is the last fight. Oh, you guys! Ha ha ha. So we're only 50-50 killing him if we use the Grape Shot, because it would be nice to apply a little damage to this guy. But I want, well, he hasn't, he's already acted this round. Do I just shoot the guy who hasn't acted then? The problem is I'm worried that the uh, Crusader is not going to be able to do anything useful. I'm going to shoot this guy. Even though he's already acted. Um, ditto here. I'm hoping the Crusader is going to kill that guy, but there's a good chance he'll go first. And, nah, 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 I think this is okay. But luckily it was only three damage, so. Um, let's see if we can get a heal in here first. Oh. I didn't think I would kill him victories mount. with the stun. So I didn't actually look at the resistance. damage range. But I'm used to the stun moves not doing enough to do that. Because he had 6 HP left over, right? I really didn't think we would kill him. I was trying to like, we'll stun, we'll do a heal, we'll do the torch thing, it'll be fine. Womp womp. Um, but I can definitely drop, because uh, the healing herbs, the shovel. Although there is a curio. We're going to poke into the next curio and see what happens there. You know what? I'll just... I guess I don't need the torch anymore. There's nothing we want to burn with a torch, I don't think. This thing is fine and safe to interact with. I believe this was the thing where if you've got holy water, it just guarantees that you'll get the, like, the super lots healing, which we don't necessarily care. Uh, earlier I wanted the healing, now I just want the loot. 
I'll probably get the healing. Because of course. The de-stressing is nice. So yeah, I'm just gonna poke um, forward here and just check this first curio, and then we'll leave. <laughs> um, yeah, we're not the... Uh, that's a big nope, right? Boy, it's a good thing I threw away the torch so you guys can't convince me to do the right, the wrong thing. Because I think just touching this doesn't do anything, but if you burn it with a torch, it summons a horrible monster from beyond. So, no, uh, we're just going to nope right out of here. Room we don't have a torch, we can't do it, sorry. All my hold. Cheap and unlock, encouragement. We'll reclaim what is ours. What is this? Uh, where's, where's my Steam page? Darkest dungeon. Encouragement. Lock a positive cork in the sanatorium. Oh, cool, yeah. Yeah, I think the ruins, I think the ruins are much bigger money places. At least that's the sense I keep getting from the ruins. It just feels like you get so much treasure, inventory management is a pain. Whereas the wield, I don't think we got much in the way of loot, but maybe there was other things, or maybe it was just a weird run. I mean, this was a medium run too, so there's gonna be more stuff. Although the wield one was as well. Clotter. Bleed resistance for Snoopy. Okay. Wield phobe, more stress in wield. Plus one speed if HP below 50%. That is kind of nice. Take advantage of this faith-fueled charity. The Abbey will be decorated it for the duration of the last. event, and all are welcome to visit during extended hours. Oh! All the, uh... All the Abbey stuff is free. Hopefully the, the caretaker isn't... Of course he is. Of course you're gonna be in there. Ah, the, the survivalist is around. Places, she is a stalwart survivor. And a strict instructor. So the survivalist allows you to unlock your other camping skills, which um, are potentially really, really very nice. Uh, sort by stress. No one's got any stress, which is annoying because our, our stress healing is free. We may as well throw people into everything in the uh, in the abbey, right? Mm -hmm. Got trinkets from the wheel. Oh, maybe there's more trinkets in the wheel. That's possible. I mean, we got stuff from rewards regardless. So blue light or blue link over here. He's got the phobe now for the wheel, but I think I'd still consider him sort of a plus one. So we should probably get his tetanus cured. Well, that's true. Some of the things here can have negative side effects. So I guess don't risk it. Sometimes they can have positive ones too, but risk aversion. Bring down the money, extra slots. I mean, we have limited... We only have 12,000 bucks right now. I don't know what our next setup is. I mean, definitely we need some curing. We've got two of those. Are you the only one diseased? Yeah. And you're good enough. We're keeping you around. So Blue Link, we definitely want to treat you. Let's get rid of your tetanus. It's horrible. We know we're doing this, Blue Link. Done. Okay. What's next? With Slumbert, and Fizz, and uh, Snoopy the Red Baron... Both haven't got, all three of them haven't gotten through this with very little stress. They've still got their weapon upgrades. They're, we're bringing them on the next adventure. In fact, is there, we can get armor smith. We may want to upgrade their armor to the next level. Any chance we have an antiquarian waiting for us? That's the wrong place. Over here. A bomb, vestal, bounty, plague. No, no antiquarian. I don't think any of the new recruits are must-haves. If they level up over level three, the cost to lock and remove quirks will go up. Oh, really? Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, unfortunately there's not an antiquarian. Um, it might be worth upgrading the stagecoach at some point to have like the number of heroes go up to five. But I mean, it's it's only 25% more choices and it's a fairly big investment. Yeah, Bounty Hunter's really good. I, I do agree with you. He's, he's a top-notch kind of class. I don't think we're spending any money on these things. Certainly not right now. Yeah, we can basically just plan on jumping in. Uh, we need someone else for the rear more slot, especially uh, ideally someone who can help heal. We might just bring another occultist with us. Although part of me wants to like cycle the the people we bring in, just so that you know, 
so we can have some people who are named various things make come in here and i mean both juna and troya are like plus plus and we had like great luck with their things although these are only level one skills and weapons um so we'd have to spend a lot of money bringing them up i think what's likely to happen here is the party's gonna stay mostly the same we could go for a veteran dungeon it's level three um because reasons but if they're not level three they're gonna just start with more stress right away so we're not doing that ruins level two uh here's what we're doing we're going for the Necromancer's Apprentice, you guys. It's going to be our first boss fight. Necromancer's Apprentice in the ruins, the estate map. It will give us a Berserker Max for a leper. We don't even have a leper yet. <laughs> uh, but it's still going to be okay to pick up. So this will be the plan. Let's plan our party for the ruins here. Um, and basically, yeah, I'm kind of okay with bringing these guys right now. They're, they're our strongest because we've invested a lot. We'll probably invest a little bit more um, in either... I don't know. I guess their skills are maxed out, but at the very least, we might unlock the armor and then get them there. So so uh, now let's sort by, um, by class here for the others. So it could be Vekka or Shen if we want another occultist. Potentially, we probably want to bring... Uh, one of our higher resolve people. Just not a, maybe not a level zero resolve is what I mean for this, for the boss fight. So Vekka's a definite possibility, as is Roadster and Kuno. But I'm kind of feeling the occultist thing. We'll probably do the same thing where we replace Sacrificial Stab with the Daemon's Pool. Bleed stack on boss, really useful. Mm. Well, um, that is interesting. Because, yeah, the bosses have a crap ton of hit points. So loading it up with a bunch of bleeds and or blights. I don't know what the Necromancer's Apprentice resistance might be, if anything. Marker bleed. Mark would be good, too. Yeah, so we don't have anyone who does that. You're right. For a boss killing party, um, this is not really well equipped for that. Snoopy does do bonus damage to Mark. I don't remember. Does he not have an ability that generates a Mark? No, he does not. He does generate bleeds, which is nice. Fuzz, I mean, oh wow, that's locked in. We'll only pray. Can't visit the brothel, which is fine. Can only pray is a little bit annoying, but not a big deal. Uh, I'm guessing the Necromancer might count as human. Might count as unholy. Might count as both. I don't know. Occultist has a mark ability. Ah, oh, the vulnerability hex. Which also eliminates dodge if he's got any. Mark is kind of bad on bosses due to the taking extra turns. Mm. The thing is, we've got lots of debuffs too. We could just go for like a full debuff build. Like Weakening Curse, Vulnerability Hex. If you take an Occultist to the Necro, he uses debuff damage ability. Yeah, I think we might do... We might just take this party... Mm, what else? Let's consider here. Um, if we sort by level... Let's strip away someone's resistance to things like bleeds and whatnot, if we're going to stack that. Bonus damage versus marked. Bonus damage versus blighted. Also the ability to blight. That's actually pretty tempting to bring a grave robber. I'm wondering if if we drop the crusader. Everyone in this party is going to want to back rank nuke for this boss. Is this the guy that summons a bunch of skeletons in front of him all the time? So fuzz becomes really um, the crusader rather becomes less uh, interesting other than maybe controlling the number of skeletons. I'm going to drop you. Bring you in. They both claim to be happy in similar spots here. Yeah, two and three. Either one of them are pretty happy in two and three, depending on exactly what we unlock. All right. I like this group. Let's go to the guild. Um, so now if I sorted my party members at the top, that is actually handy to be able to... to bring them to the top. Makes it a little easier to find. Just double check. I think you're good with your abilities. Um, 
Because you can Iron Swan the boss, potentially. If you get knocked back, you can just break through. Something like that. Okay. Um, Juna. Juna definitely needs some leveling up. So, you don't currently have Toxin Trickery. And I think that's going to have to be okay. So, which four abilities might be most interested in for the boss? Um... Stacking Blights. I don't know if he's going to be very resistant to Blight. The nice thing about Poison Darts is it does give them a, the blight, like, a blight resist penalty, which makes it easier to continue it to go. And then you can throw daggers at him. If he's marked and blighted, you'll do a bunch of bonus damage. Uh, can we get the next level of skill upgrades in the guild if we upgrade? We can make it cheaper. Actually, it's probably worth doing this. A strict regimen is paramount if one is Let's to master the brutal two. arithmetic of combat. I mean, it's Juna, so obviously he's going to want his flashing daggers capped out. Obviously. Lunge might occasionally use things, but I don't think that's what we're going to pack. I think we'll probably just grab the pick to the face. Maybe not that useful for the boss fights, but it'll help getting us there. Do something like that. Probably those abilities. Um, I may just want to upgrade everything, though. Juna, like, in case we decide we need to make a change in the dungeon, it's it's cheap enough. Let's do that. Snoopy. I think we're okay with what you've got. And then Vecca. We need to unlock... We're going to want the Weakening Curse, the Vulnerability Curse... I might just go and, and bump up everything. Because we're going to want a different loadout for different things all the time. You know what? Let's just do it. Done, done, done. Okay. Oh, uh, we were going to check. We do need to save enough money for the, uh, the provisions, but... So yeah, you guys all have your... Oh no, you don't. And then, can I still do the armor smithing? I can. Fan the flames, mold the metal. We are 5, raising an army. So, to fully upgrade everyone to the next level, it cost me 3,000 gold. Yeah, the trinket sales is not a bad idea, actually, to, um, to recoup some of this. Like... I might just get rid of the dodge stone. I mean, it's fine, obviously. Well, let's not sell anything yet. Let's let's go ahead for the full armor upgrades. With the reasoning that everything's a little bit better. So this gives us... Our dodge goes from 10 to 15. And we get 5 extra HP. This is a huge boost. Oh, the low light dog whistle is probably a good thing to sell, yeah. Oh, you can just click here. Don't have to drag. Done, done, done. It leaves us 2700 bucks right now. I mean, we will have to sell some stuff. But that'll be okay. All right, so this is the Necromancer. Our party's in position. I mean, literally correct position. Um, the Occult... Oh, if I tweak your abilities. Hold on. So we'll have we'll have two of the debuffs, including the ability to Hex. We obviously need to be re Reconstruction. And then... This can be used to stun some people in front, which isn't bad. We got the pull as well. Good utility clears corpses. Thing is, if there's nothing in the back, what is this guy going to spend his time doing? I suppose he can he can curse and hex anyone no matter where they are. It doesn't do a ton of damage. And yes, we'll, we'll we'll put on the trinkets in a sec. Okay, so you've got those active. Those are the only four abilities. That's definitely ones we want to bring. Um, actually, I think that was fine, right? Because that's versus marked and blighted. This blights. Flashing daggers. Pick to the face. Um, and you can use every single one of your abilities from where you are. And over here, we don't bleed out, but we're fine with those abilities. Okay. Take a look at the trinket situation. Um. Grave robber speed. Okay, I'm just looking for things that light up, because those are the class-specific items, and they're obviously going to be especially good. And... We might sell the debuff amulet. It's actually not bad, but at this point, all of our people have some amount of dodge. The speed stone is... Wow, do you have a speed of 10 here? That's crazy. 
I think we might put it... Um, we might want the speed on the Occultist. I mean, seven's pretty fast. But if we can, like, the, if we can guarantee we get the... Um, um, the mark, like, right away, or the debuffs right away, that might be the way to go. You're up front, we'll give you the protection, and then... Oh, yeah. Um, protection and dodge for no speed. Do we care how fast the Hellion goes? I don't know. And actually, your skills are very debuff related. Hold on. Debuff. Weirdly, the vulnerability hex is not classified as a debuff. Well, okay, I'm confused. So, if you look here, Weakening Curse has debuff target blah. This doesn't list the dodge under debuff. But it does have a base percentage chance. I'm going to assume here we should probably put the debuff amulet on our cultist. Give you protection, encounter the speed loss. You're fast enough, you can take a hit to your speed to get some extra dodge. Yeah, and anyway, well, I'm going to assume... Yeah, we're going to have to sell this whistle. We're going to need the money for... Um, uh, yeah, I'm not going to hit always here, just for safety. We're going to assume we're going to need the money for some stuff. Okay. You can actually make a neat party based around movement skills since you speed staggers the right way. Oh. Speed stone is used by hitting someone with it to distract them and going first. Oh, you whack him in the head, yeah. Uh, so it's medium run. I mean, at the very least a full stack of food. very least a full stack of torches. Um, a second shovel. I'm gonna bring two holy waters this time. One key, one herb. Then what we're gonna do is we'll bring uh, a half stack of extra food and torches. 700 bucks left over. And bring one bandage, just to say. One anti-venom, at least. We have 400 gold left over. Holy water for all tombs before... Oh, right, because we could just drink the holy water to get a bunch of resistances before the boss fight. What's a full stack of this? Oh, maybe... I can't do four. Maybe we'll bring four holy water. More food just in case. I mean, we got 18. I mean, we have four full feedings. Necromancer has no B bus, but this don't need anti venom in the runes at all, if you recall correctly. Okay, so says chat. All right, then I'll just buy. There we go. We'll spend the rest on some extra food, so we have the ability to like just feed some of some extra food from some hit points or something like that. All right, screw it. Let's go. Let's go. Done. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. My key's done. I After we do the um, the necromancer, well, actually, that'll be the end of limitless. today's single player portion of the stream. We'll Who could have divined the prophetic mm -hmm. import of something as unremarkable? And that'll be time for an alternate beverage. As a twitch in the leg of a dead rat. What about curios, though? That's the that's the reason I was thinking about the antivirus or the uh, anti venom. Are there any curios in the ruins that might have used it? Even if no the devil walks these halls. Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. All right, so all, our only goal is to get to the Necromancer's Apprentice. Boss will generally be the furthest from the entrance, I believe. So most likely here, potentially here, most likely not anywhere else. Might be a little annoying if it turns out he's right next to the entrance, but I don't think so. Uh, Any venom is used for the alchemical laboratory. But you think it's a bad thing. You can also just burn the uh, alchemical laboratory with a torch to bring your torchlight to 100. All right, let's go. Stump -a, stump -a, stump -a, stump -a, stump -a, stump -a. Pile of books. We're gonna ignore the pile of books. We need to make sure we don't do something stupid to like generate extra stress and things leading into this. Oh, 
did we find a map? <laughs> Alright! That makes me very, very happy. Surprise! I mean, we may as well torch here, I think. So, Juna, just out of curiosity, uh, hey, hold on. Are the moves ordered differently than normal? Is it based on the order in which I click them in? I didn't realize that. It's the picks over here, which is a little awkward. Juno, what do you think we should do? <laughs> oh, we're back, baby. Flashing it is. Flash all the things. Let's uh, let's yank this guy forward so that we can... Oh, he resisted it. That's too bad. Blast! Ah! Come on! This is going to be such a clean fight. I actually expected we may have been able to just finish this without take, with before they got out of their surprise. If the blast had worked right there, likely would have killed these two, and then we could just focus fire on this one here. Uh, unless we miss or literally roll the one minimum, he will die. This seems like a pretty efficient attack, even though there's some higher risks here. Another one falls. It works for me. Inspiration. I mean, this guy does do a fair amount of damage. Or can. Apparently chose not to. So, uh, we'll just go with a pick to the face here. Chance to hit either one is the same. I guess we could maybe not kill him here, but the chances are pretty Their good. And we don't want to go broken. again. Maintain the I know we can't bleed, but they, they do the same damage. Alright, that's done. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Normal, uh, just a normal version of Factorio. I'm not in the experimental build. I don't know. How do you get? There must be a, a link for the to download the experimental build, but the normal dedicated server page doesn't include it. Flash and daggers just seems like a pretty good pick here. I mean, why would we ever do anything else, right, Juna? We've got a flash. Oh, them dodges. I didn't realize. Flashing daggers reduces their bleed resist? Oh, that's really nice. I'm just gonna do this, because is that a bit most damaging move? It's what, minus 50%? Yeah. And then it also opens up for our melees to just finish this guy before he goes. They're not surprised. I guess we'll go with this guy, because it's the easiest kill. Uh, we all have the same base accuracy. Um, he's already gone. Although there's a chance we could one-shot him. Still, I think the, the damage prevention is more important Continually than, onslaught. in this case, than the more efficient Destroy damage uh, them dealing. All. He's got the negative bleed resist. Yeah, he's at 0% bleed resistance. So we should probably open veins on him. A devastating blow. I don't know. Actually, the Blight may have been the right move there. Two damage now. Yeah, we have to hit him again. Um, base accuracy 100. Yeah, this is the most accurate one. 95%. Because he can generate stress things. I mean, this guy does a lot of like, more damage. But that's going to be okay. We might be able to kill the Iron Swan now. Oh, okay. That worked out kind of already. Right. I'll take this loot. Thank you. Success. So it's unlocked. Uh, I think we, do you still get more loot or with the key though? I think even with an unlocked strong box. I'm gonna try it. We haven't done it yet. It's a question mark. I'm a little worried we're gonna waste the key. I don't. Maybe we don't. It specifically says unlocked. Uh, I think the difference might be like if something just said strong box, there might be something. If I say unlock strong box, no, literally no difference. There's a chance we'll get blighted. Who's got the best blight resistance? Fifty. I think. Oh, sixty. I guess it makes sense. Where did you call this not better? But you got 60 over here. You pop that. And we'll just take the loot for Leper and then the Crest as well. Okay. So that's us here. Let's check a Curio this way. Uh, we want a key. There we go. We saved the key for this. Perfectly planned. And then we just got a backpack. I'm not going to bother. This 
way. There's going to be a trap. Wait for it to get lit up. Double check. 70. 100. Yeah. 100. Um, do they both have the same stress? 2. 7. There. You do it because you'll get stress reduction. There you go. No more stress for you. And then a curio is just a backpack. Hey, we got a key back. Nice. Oh, I guess it wasn't a fight. And we don't care about the scouting, but still. Alright. Two curios, and then a fight with a curio. Pile of books, we're going to ignore. Uh, I'm going to ignore the journal page. Although, there you go. You can screenshot that for story if you want. Although, again, you can just check the wiki. And, yeah, we'll torch it and go in. Oh. Can you, can you reorder? Can I, like, restack these? We'll be able to fix it soon. Oh, yeah, you can. Lovely. Obviously, killing the... Well, actually, both these dudes have, have stress generators. So, focus firing them would be good, but I feel like Grape Shot Blast, especially if we can combo the Grape Shot Blast with the Flashing Daggers to just stack really efficient damage on the guys in the middle here. I think that's probably for the best. Flashing Daggers. 2 HP is really annoying. I, um... I'm gonna do this because it'll kill him. Because I don't have my AoE funds. No. Normally First I think I'd want the AoEs, but we got him in, like, boss-killing no configuration. There's a chance we kill him. We're the last person to act. We'd have to hit him and roll max or crit. Um, so the odds of me actually killing this guy are fairly low. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Wicked Hack this guy. He doesn't generate stress, but as long as we hit him, he'll die. It's only 10% chance So we'll do that. Dodge, dodge, blossoms. dodge! Nope. And yes, that's right. That's right. We could go with not a boss killing configuration for the uh, the dungeon crawl. Yes, I will, I will try to make that change. Uh, there's no reason to flash here. I'm sorry. I know that's going to fill you with sadness. Um, the dagger's is more straight up damage, right? 5 to 10 as opposed to this, which is 3 to 5. I mean, the Blight, you gotta assume the Blight, you know, so is it, uh, you know. Stupid animations. Let me right-click. Um, the Blight ticks for... Oh, it's three, actually! So I have to remember that assuming they can get Blighted, it's an extra three damage, effectively, instantly. Now, you can't bleed. You haven't gone yet. We're not gonna kill you. We are gonna get two more attacks, and your speed is zero. We can probably kill you before you actually get to act. I can't pistol you. Let me do this. Uh, heal. Alright, you're fully healed. Bleed! No bleed. And if we do this... Confidence I, because I didn't attack the here, there was crumbles. a chance I might have been able to kill this guy before he goes. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, 3 to 5, but an extra 3. I mean, as long as we hit him, he's going to die anyway. So it doesn't really matter too much there. Take this all. expedition at least promises success. I think the suit of armor is fine. If I, if I recall correctly, it's mostly positive incomes. I think I think it might give you a defensive boost, and even more so if you use the right thingy. I think it is always good. Um, suit of armor, suit of armor. Oh, there's no thingy to interact with. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, 75% chance we get a temporary boost for production and dodge until we camp. But the big thing is the other 25% is the Runes Adventure or Runes Tactician trait. So we want to use it on someone who presumably doesn't have one of those yet. So that we, we eliminate the chance of a waste. I think we're going to use it on Juna. Who doesn't have much in the way of traits, unfortunately. But he's got Natural Swing, which is so freaking good. Touch the armor. Ah, okay. Just protection, but hey, that's fine. Uh, where are we? Yeah, there's too many things lit up. Uh, maybe what we'll do is we'll poke and check this curio. And we'll get a little bit of stress as we just back up. That's a good one. Altar of Light. Okay, we haven't actually interacted with it yet, but I'm pretty sure it's very good. Altar of Light. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. So, no matter what, it's a 20% it's a boost to our damage until we camp. 
If we use holy water, and we do have a lot of holy water, it's a 30% boost to damage until we camp. I think I'm gonna use it on Snoopy for the grape shot. Spread it out a little bit. Ooh. We got some curry. Some curry. From the gods. Mmm, I love curry. So delicious. Alright, I don't want to do this fight, so we are indeed gonna back up. Into the door. And come up this way. Get a free torch. We can probably just consume a torch here. Because we're just about... Yeah. There it is. The match is struck. Apparently when this window is open, you can't interact with star those. Is born. I tried T. T for torch didn't work. Clicking here didn't work. I had to right-click on the torch here in that screen. So we got a trap here, which we want to use it with you because you're 100% and you've got stress. Negative stress. And T for torch. Oh yeah, because there was no fight. It's the next one that's a fight. Do, 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 do. Diggy diggy hole. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Into the fight. Could have just right clicked on the torch in the loot window. Oh, can you consume it directly from the loot window? Oh, that's cool, okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna do this. I don't realize we're not hitting the guy in the back, which is kind of shitty. But the damage this way is just way too efficient, especially when paired with the Grape Shot Blast, which doesn't miss. Back to the oh. pit. I'm surprised he didn't die and this guy did. It's fine. Yeah, we found a map right at the start, so everything's kind of scooted. And they're both going. Oh shit, balls! Blurred vision. The goblet into the a crit approaches. hit. Iron Swan. <laughs> Executed with impunity. Executed with impunity. Um, yeah, they can be blighted. Yeah, yeah, it's only 10%. And then you'll take the extra three, so you're dead on your turn. Odds are this will help more than hurts. Yeah, bleed resist. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Uh, so speaking of holy water... Now, I'm trying to remember. I think I want to use it on here because I think the. Um... Right, 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 right. It's always good. Holy water makes it better at healing and de stressing. Means no treasure, but our inventory's full. We got a lot of holy water, and we could use a bigger de stress on Snoopy. I didn't realize that could crit heal. All right. All right, we're just gonna head to the boss at this point. There's gonna be a trap immediately, which we're gonna pop with Snoopy for even more stress reduction. Uh, that's actually working pretty well. Torch. Well, we don't need it, I guess, for the scout. Although there will be a fight there, which we'll want the, uh, the torch light for. Um, right, did I want to change his config for the fight here? Um, the answer is very much yes. Let me drop the two debuffs. I'm going to grab the stun and the double damage in the back row. Oh, camp. I'm mostly just stack, like, buff preventions. Camp after the boss and leave with zero stress. It's actually... A, that's really interesting. So, with camping... We might be able to stack some positives. So, for example, Battle Trance. So, we do bonus damage. Um, hmm. Or do we do really... We can get Stress Prevention from there. Uh, I don't know if the Surprise will matter. But we could clean our guns... Oh, but you're right. We do have status. We, we already do have some buffs. You know what? We're going to camp after the boss to remove stress. Because I don't think we'll, we'll... We may not end up with much of a net positive. There's going to be a fight here. 
Um, I don't know how the light change will happen. How many are? Oh yeah, we got plenty of torches, so we'll just In max it out. In radiance, may we find victory. No surprise, that's too bad. But better stress protection. Flashing daggers. Artillerize the back. Rawr, creepy tentacles. Iron Swan. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Um, how many chances to kill you? 50-50 to kill you while applying a little damage there, or we could guarantee a kill with just some sort of attack. Well, guarantee, assuming we hit. Okay. Let's do that. Otherwise, a little greedy. Be gone, fiend. I think I'm going to drop the bandage. I'm not expecting much in the way of bleed in that fight. The other thing we can do is we can slap the disease charm on someone just so that it's not in your inventory. The minus two dodge kind of sucks, but honestly, we have so much dodge. Oh, the food. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, well, we're still going to have to do something because we're still packed, right? Like, I suppose I could just leave, left the 25 gold. That's the food there. Oh, it's hard to see when it's just one. Eat that, do that. We could have dropped the 25 gold. I think, I mean, that's yeah, fine. We could potentially have dropped the shovel too, actually. We might, honestly, this charm seems so bad, I'm not sure if the carrying it's the right thing. Um, if we don't think we're gonna get diseases from the boss, and I don't think we are, I think we do just drop the shovel. Disease charm is okay if you have nothing going on, you're going to warn. I don't think we can sell it from here. Well, if I hold shift, it does, no. Yeah, sell afterwards. I mean, we don't want to toss it because it's worth 750 bucks. Yeah, we drop we drop the herbs or the shovel, I think. And I think I'm gonna put that aside. Oh, there's a curio here. Watch this backfire on me. But we didn't need the shovel. Is it the herbs? I can't remember. I've done the Iron Maiden, I've forgotten what it is. Although, yeah, there the, the, see the herbs are lit up. See, told you. So for the record, Iron Maiden, the herbs give you loot. If you just poke it, you might still get loot, but there's a 40% chance of getting a negative trait or a disease. So you don't want to poke the Iron Maiden by itself. But we've got the herbs. Woo! Torch it up. As the light gains Let's try purpose, to remember to drop the torch level before we finish this fight this and time. Purpose is made clear. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's for the leper. Right, right, right. Change abilities, thank you. I would have been pretty pissed. Yeah, I suspect he's going to spend a lot of his time healing in this fight, but every now and again, he'll maybe be able to drop a curse instead. Holy water before we go in. Let's give it a try. We may as well, right? So, bleed, that yeah, blight, bleed, disease, debuff. I don't know, the, the two guys in the front. Uh, no, you do have extra in the dodge and protection. So maybe I'll do it here instead. I don't know if the boss is going to use it, but we may as well. Take off the pull, he'll likely resist it. Um, true, the appeal of the pull is it was something that hits in the back. Although, I guess I can uh, artillery. It's only 33% damage debuff. As opposed to 50%. Although, do we want the clearing corpse's power? So he's going to summon skeletons, which we're going to boop from time to time, because maybe it'll be the only thing, or with some of our splash damage things, it might happen. Oh, you think he's Eldritch too, so we'll do bonus damage? Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, the pool clears corpses, but we're actually fairly well set up to keep hitting the guy in the back and not care about the corpses. Let's go see. Might be Eldritch. He's probably unholy and maybe human. Towering, no, he's unholy Eldritch! Terrible. Not human at all. Alright. That's a hell of a start to the fight. AoE just fucking drops the uh 
uh, the stress on us. So that was six feet under his spell that apparently just stresses everyone out. And I think every turn he auto summons a soldier, uh, a bone soldier over here. So our goal is to kill him. He's got 105 goddamn hit points. That is not a small number. Uh, he only has 20% blight and bleed resistance. He's very hard to stun. He's actually not that hard to move, surprisingly. But yeah, we want to start stacking bleeds and blights as much as possible. We actually can't um, can't stack bleeds very much, like for like because of this, uh, because it only hits the first two. So we may as well take our opportunity. Not much sense of grape shot blast. Uh, he's not marked yet, so we're not doing bonus damage. Um, how long does tracking shot last? It doesn't say. For the whole battle? Hold on. See, it, it, you got to look it up because it doesn't tell us. Um, darkest dungeon tracking shot. If it's for the whole fight, then it might be worth doing it as our very first move. One battle. is The wiki says it lasts for one battle. I feel like we should probably start with the buff. I mean, bleed him and hide behind two skeletons. True, but I mean... It's, the, it's only going to account for, like, the bleed's only going to be worth six damage. Bleed first? Everyone wants us to bleed him first. Is six damage better than 14% more damage and plus seven accuracy and plus five percent crit? I guess I can tracking shot him later. That I guess that's a point. It means one round when we're not benefiting from the tracking shot, but in the other hand, we've got the six, the six bleed. Watch us just miss so it's a move point. Um, so, I don't think it makes sense to um, flash him yet. He's not marked or blighted yet. Uh, does he have protection? No. But I think what we do is we, we start stacking the blights. And it'll also bring his blight resistance down to zero, which is going to be well for I just want to make sure to double check all our options to see if we're happy. So now he's got 0% resistance to all those things. Um, so, we can apply a bleed from here. We, it's guaranteed to land. Well, if it hits him, it's guaranteed to bleed him. All right. We don't need the heal. We're going to drop one of the buffs. Um, we should probably mark him. It does, The mark doesn't last forever. He doesn't have protection to overcome. Uh, he doesn't have dodging to overcome either. But we've got a few people who can benefit from the mark. Three rounds, that's not bad. Maybe. I don't know. Um, since he is now both blighted and marked, I think what we want to do is throw a dagger at him now. He is still in a position where we could we could blight him more, because he hasn't summoned another skeleton yet. And that's three points for... That's a long... Oh, we can blight him whenever we want, though. No matter what the position. No, no. We can stack these blights. That's fine. Six damage. So, I mean, it's 36... Math is hard. That's right, right? That's a lot of damage. I mean... Uh, maybe we don't want the last six rounds, so... We don't need to mark him as, again. We may as well hit him with the other debuff. We haven't taken any damage. Yep. Eat more debuffs, buddy. Holy crap! This fight's gonna be so easy because the prep work. Such a terrible and then stuff like that happens. What is this? Some, something something insidious. Something something overconfidence. Why would I even open my mouth to say that it's gonna be easy? I, Okay, it's still going to be a lot easier than this could have been. Doesn't mean it's going to be easy. Um, yeah, no, if it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> Overconfidence is a slow and hilarious killer. Overconfidence actually isn't much of a slow killer. Overconfidence is more of a, and all of a sudden you're dead because you screwed up. There's not really anything slow about it. So we can't stack any more bleeds from our high women. Womp womp. Um, he is marked. Rather than, I think... Actually, I think we're not going to tracking shot at this point. We're just going to hammer the DPS on him. Shit balls! All right, well, it's a good thing all our debuffs are in place. Ew, only four. May as well still use... Because, okay, so we're hitting with this. Effectively, let's assume it hits for four damage. Effectively, it's plus three right away. So it's seven damage right away. Potentially, we can think of this as a 10 damage attack, depending on length of, of battle. If we were instead to throw a dagger, seven to 14, the dagger might actually do more than the blight would in the long term. 
I mean, we could flashing to hit both, but no. I think, just because we don't know how to go, I think we'll go ahead and assume at least two rounds, yes. Maybe three rounds, in which case Poison Dark can come in a little bit more. After this, I think we go to just uh, throwing daggers at him. We rolled minimum there. It's just stack of blight. And then, yeah, we'll just pistol shot you, 9 to 17. Roll low there. But he is at like, a, well, less than a third HP, which isn't too bad. This bleed is also non-impressive, but we can't wicked hack you, so let's use that because it's the only thing we can hit with. And in some fights, so the, the problem is, if you come into this fight blind the very first time, like luckily, I had some recollection of this. You come into this fight blind the first time, you don't know if the correct move is keeping his adds under control or focus firing him. Because different video games have all kinds of different mechanics. And sometimes it might be something like, if he gets the maximum adds, horrible shit happens, so he needs to be killed. The, the adds have to be controlled. I think here is, you want to focus on him. There's no extra special badness with extra adds. We could drop a heal. Four to seven, but he's he's gonna die on his next turn regardless. No matter what happens, he's gonna die on his next action. So let's just drop a heal on you. Oh, drop the torchlight. No! Living sinew no! Them. No! He's walking no! Finally no, why did you go now? Oh, it might not have mattered. This loot might be a little Remind bit more yourself fixed, that overconfidence actually. is a slow and insidious killer. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Alright. Uh, encourage you. Uh, no. No. Uh, we need a we need a bandit set. We need to make sure we don't actually get ambushed. That's stress prevention. Uh, we don't have any diseases. You can remove diseases. Wow. I'm just double checking, but no, we don't have any diseases. So we don't have anything else that just removes stress. That's interesting. Nothing else matters. We'll move your bleed, but like, we'll give you some stress resistance. I don't think anything else matters. Q and E to cycle between character screens. That is handy. Thank you very much. The way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow this it. One? Oh yeah, the leper mask. We need to get ourselves a leper. They're insanely good. Just huge damage dealers. Alright. Slubbert King. Weak grip on life. That's not great, but not the worst. You reduce stress with torches above. That's nice. Snoopy. Minus 5% damage on range kill. That sucks. Robust is... Yeah, it's handy. I think we have to get rid of his scattering. We grip on life as again. Be careful, a leper party can fall apart quickly. Oh my All god. All the decadent horrors so I have bad. seen pale in comparison to that final crowning thing. I could not look, nor could I look away. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up a party. We're gonna take a look at any new stage stagecoach uh, recruits. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop these guys out of the party just so I can do some sorting a little bit more. Um, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to multiplayer uh, Factorio in just a moment. But yeah, let's take a look at what's what before we go. Uh, Shieldbreaker, Cultist, Horns, Clotter, Dark Temptation, no. Nocturnal's really annoying. Ruminator, Thick-Blooded, I mean, that's not bad, but... Unholy Hater, and Clotter, eh, it's conceivable. No to Slow Reflexes. We could consider grabbing Lil. The problem is we would have to boot someone from the party. Or from, you know, our, our barracks over here. Uh, sort by class. We do have the thing where we have the three occultists. Maybe we could drop one. We're still hoping to roll maybe a stronger Vestal. I don't know if we need to hire anyone. Yeah, the uh, the trinket that was only disease production, I do agree, is like a pretty no-brainer for uh, uh, elimination. I don't remember which one it was.
This one here, Disease Charm. Yeah, I don't like this one bit. I'm not going to be using it. We're going to get rid of you. We'll probably make a, a sip video uh, go live right after this. It's already recorded, so there's a good chance. Man, we really need to send Antiquarian again. And a Bounty Hunter... Do we have one and we're just not using it because of something? Uh, that's a Shield Breaker, right? That's the Houndmaster. Musketeer. Who are you? The Arbalist. Wait. So the Arbalist and the Musketeer are exactly the same. But just reskinned? Is that true? That's kind of confusing. That because they because they're showing up as two different classes, which makes it a lot more annoying to keep track of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, honestly, if I were to play this again, I might just disable the musketeer. I do like the uh, I like the art. It's like way cooler than this. But it's confusing. And, oh, we think they get different trinkets. Okay, that might be like that might be a little interesting to open up a few more possibilities. But yeah, yeah, it was like a, it was like the, um, the Kickstarter bonus, right? It's amazing to me, like our stress levels are like so good. We need zero treatment for stress right now. We don't have a ton of cash. We may have to like skip a cycle of the sanatorium in exchange for well, although we have a lot of people to level two weapons and armor and skills, we actually might be okay to not worry about that. Sanatorium's kind of a long-term investment, but it's got some pretty nice value. We could lower the treatment cost some more, which is good too. Snoopy got a terrible vice. Oh yeah, yeah. We Okay, so we have to spend money getting rid of scattering. Since Snoopy is going to be in here anyway, it would be really appealing, and he's got five of these, it would be really appealing to lock something in, which I think has to be quick reflexes. Has to get locked in. Um, Hard Noggin's really nice, but we don't want him to develop another positive quirk and lose quick reflexes. It's too critical. The problem is 7,200 is a lot of money. Now, we can get it to be cheaper by a fair bit, which I think we will do. So we'll bring it down to 6,300, and I think I'm going to lock it. We can always sell a trinket or two to fund our provisions for the next thing. Done. Scattershot's really nice. I don't want to. I don't want to not use Scattershot, and yeah. No, this is a really, really good investment. And actually, I'm going to suggest that with the he's. We're also gonna, we're going to give him the triple plus. Didn't we? Weren't we going to triple plus someone else? It's kind of annoying that's locked. That's not the worst. We don't need to lock that right now. Someone else with like a, a double plus, wasn't it? Shinix. Look at this. Five positive traits. One negative trait that doesn't matter too much. Fuzz, not yet. There might be some others that warrant a change from their current rating, but yeah, that's really nice. Positive quirk can be replaced randomly even if you don't have the full amount. Oh, really? Oh, shit. Next lock for Snoopy would be Clodder uh, for the, uh, the bleed resistance. Potentially, yeah. If the wiki says it only replaces if they have five and they're supposed to get a new one it replaces, but maybe there's a chance to get a random change. I don't know. So people are saying they've never seen that happen, so it might not be. We'll see. Fitting that Abyssal Crusader's God-fearing. Yeah, I suppose that's true. All right. Well, that was pretty good. We did finish you, and I, I don't know if that opens up the next boss yet. I think we may have to get up to level three in the runes. Uh, Purify the Altar, I think, might be part of the story as well. We, when we go into this, we'll we'll have, I guess, consecrated essence, and then we have to find three altars, and then uh, that'll do that. I think it's, I think this is a, a story type thing to advance the plot, but I'm not sure. But yeah, we don't have a lot of cash. Good money for that mission, though. Forty-five. Book of Rage. Oh, this is, you do a lot more damage and shit if you're low HP, but it gives you a huge penalty to bleed and blight resist. Well, the nice thing about Book, Book of Rage being uncommon means it sells for decent money, but it's probably not something we don't want to use. Oh, silent, Town Events, Silence in the Crypts. Oh, I didn't know that some of these missions generated events. These surgical gloves actually seem really good. Of 
Book of Rage, it's written in all caps. <laughs> Alright, uh, that is it for Darkest Dungeon today. Um, we are going to do some multiplayer factorial now. If you were only here for the Darkest Dungeon, hey, that's fine. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you, everyone, you know, for subbing and supporting and everything like that. But uh, the multiplayer factorial does tend to be goofy fun. Um, mostly it's um, it's people kind of, like, locking me in 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 boxes and, and putting me on little treadmills and things uh, while I drink. So uh, we're going to take a short break. I'll get it prepped. What I'm going to do here, so um, yeah, it saves automatically. I can just exit. The info for how to get onto the server will be on the subscriber only Discord channel. If you haven't done it already, information down below on how to link into that. Um, if you are already on the, the server because it's been running during the stream here, be aware, I'm about to bring it down. I'm going to set up a new map, a fresh new map, and then I'm going to bring it up um, when, uh, when I come back and when I'm ready to connect so that everyone can see everything from the beginning. So, you know, all your hard work, if you had any, it's gone away. Oh no. Um, and yeah, so give me, give me, give me a text message. Oh, okay. Um, give me, uh, give me two or three minutes. I'll be back with a beverage and, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna factorize this shit. See you in a minute. That's the wrong page. Break time. Yeah. <laughs> 